Yo, DJ, pull that up. Hello. It's the act. It's me and Francis. Me and Big Cat. I don't know where everyone else is. Here comes Kate. Here comes not KB. I guess. Yak, sponsored by Roback, R-H-O-B-A-C-K.com, promo code Yak, 20% off your first purchase, Roback.com. Go do it right now, Q-Zips, polos, hoodies, joggers, sweatshirts, shorts, Roback.com. Breaking news, breaking news. Probably the greatest thing that could have ever happened. What? They're all arguing about the Mets over there. Meek Phil, Hubs, whatever. This whole group of dudes arguing about the Mets. Meek Phil's super into it. Caveat, Snapchat Steve's dog is here today. That Ready? dog has been on the act before. Ready? A delight. He's so into arguing about the Mets, he doesn't notice that Benny has taken an enormous series of wet dog poops on the floor. And so he's arguing about the Mets, and he's stomping all over the dog. TJ, I sent you a couple pictures. He's That's what that all is. The- <laughs> Meek Phil stepped right in dog shit. Really? I, I walked into that area as soon as he did it, and it, I thought it was a uh, staged. Oh my god, do we have video of it? Oh, yeah. a million I people need at video. once. We need video. A million people at once leapt up. Yeah. Uh, you really have to see it. I'm probably not doing it. His socks holding his shit shoes like a fucking <laughs> screaming about the like Mets, like a buffoon, like a farmhand. Yes. And he stepped in it like ten times because he was <laughs> yeah, arguing. About perfect the Mets. victim, Meek yeah. Phil. Meek <laughs> Phil. Oh, horrible for his PR. He needed anything but that. <laughs> well, he was just living high off of all that com- the compliments that Pat Bev gave him. I must have missed that. Yeah, he was on. He was on the Pat Bev show. I think he was hosting for Roan. Meek Phil was? Yeah. Quiggs tweeted <laughs> what? it out. What? Why? Because Roan's in the safari. Oh. Quiggs tweeted it out, TJ. You can find it. Yeah, Meek Phil was living high, and now he's back down to oh, ground yeah, right zero. Along. Oh, get him in here. God damn. That, that rules. I want to watch the video, then we'll get him in here. Should be up any second. Hello, everyone. Francis is here today. What's up? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, let me tell you something about Meek, though. True story, right? I met what? Meek through mutual friend, right? Mutual friend. I, I meet Meek. Uh, I think it was his cousin. Um, the guy p that be's around him all the time. Obviously, I am play with Lou Will, you know, and Lou Will, like, hey, yo, bro, you and Meek, like, y'all act exactly the same. Like, like for real, y'all act exactly the same. I've been around him. I've been around you. Like, y'all act exactly the same. Mind <laughs> you, like, I'm huge Meek fan. Like, Hey man, <laughs> you think that's Meek Mill? No, yeah, of course. <laughs> it was all time edit by Quig. Oh, it's so good. <laughs> so school passed. I was like, wait, what that's is going ex- on here? That's exactly how he would react. Yeah, he'd just be like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. all right. Oh, God, that wasn't real. Uh, yeah, that would crush you. I would have. I would no. <laughs> that would have just been insane. <laughs> Actually, I'm not. I wish that that happened. Yeah. I'll be honest. I thought, I, it, was like, I thought it was number real. One guy was real. The number one guy at Barcelona is Meek Phil. <laughs> it goes Roan and then Meek Phil is next. Yeah, listen. I didn't know Meek Phil, but Lou Will told me that I had to meet Meek Phil. <laughs> and you guys act exactly the same. <laughs> Meek Phil just stepped in dog shit. Meek Phil stepped in dog shit. Oh, and I can <laughs> tell he thought he was making a great point before that. I need the pre. I need. I need it leading up to that. Do we have that or no? To be fully honest, if that happened to me, I would not have. I would have lost my mind. I would have been very upset. The dog shit everywhere. Yeah, you can't have a dog. My cat would wouldn't do that. Well, I captured because I was actually doing one of those. You know, when all the guys are talking sports, and I'm quietly like, guys talking about sports. Yeah, it's just guys just. And then all of a sudden, they all started screaming, and I leapt over, and there was just poop everywhere. Oh, that's incredible. Um. Oh, I'm really riding high off of that. You can't, you can't have your dog shitting on the floor. No. <laughs> no. Actually, oh, that's bro- beyond me how they're the most popular animal. <laughs> cats, You're a cat pervert. Cats would never. What? A cat pervert? You're a cat pervert. A little oh, bit. Cat abuser. I'll admit it. Have you seen the video? No. It's maybe my favorite video the internet's produced Shane in at Dawson? least the past year. Is this recent? Yeah, last night. Uh, oh. Cat pervert. Cat pervert. Of you. Last night? Yeah, last night. <laughs> Last night, mm-hmm. you didn't see what happened. Cat pervert. They they are a um. I'm trying to choose my words correctly. 
<laughs> you're a sensual no, creature. No, I'm not. I'm, our cat. You understand? Our cat. I'm not even in my yard right now. How, what am I doing? The, 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 the gates open. You're unreasonable people. You're holding our cat. How? I'm not even in there. I want you to explain how. If you would go in your yard and say, Mercury, go home. Don't come in our yard anymore. She they want not you to... She's a cat. She doesn't speak English. Oh really? You this this doesn't mean go home? No. Uh, Hand uh, signals don't mean anything. It's a cat, dude. Really? Okay. All right. Well, we'll have the police department figure yeah, it out. Absolutely. Okay. Great idea. All right. Let's oh, no. So the cat doesn't eat and drink anything over there, right? No. Oh no, never. Right? No, never. No. No, never. Never. Yeah, yeah. never. Yeah, you Cat pervert. <laughs> <laughs> I've, done, I've done nothing to bring the cat. That's I've done good. nothing to bring the This dude's lost. This dude, he's lost. He's lost. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Wrong or right is a tough look to have someone yelling cat pervert at you. Yeah. Dude, the minute he you said lose. cat pervert, he lost. Like, he lost. He yeah. had no defense. Yeah. Yeah. He's a cat pervert. Yep. Yeah. Yep. He is. They called the cops. It's so funny. Like, That's so funny. The guy's cat. The guy behind the camera, who is a cat pervert, yeah, was like, "It's." He tweeted it. I'm guessing. Yeah, he was like, "I understand if my cat was in your your yard, but your cat's in my yard." Like his that guy's cat is going into their yard, and they're claiming that they're harboring the cat. The guy filming his cat is going in that. Watch the, the end guys. of it. They they start to explain it a little bit. What crime is that? You know what? There's a crime about you harboring my cat. What crime is that? Against the law. What oh, crime is that? It's called harboring an animal. I can understand being angry if my cat was in your yard. You're angry because uh. your cat is in my yard. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that was the other way around. Yeah. <laughs> no but he's can. a cat pervert. Yeah. They think that he's like treating the cat better than them. Right. And basically like giving it food and being yeah. like trying to steal their cat. Yeah, once you say cat pervert, it's yeah. over. Yeah, there's you no know way to that come back from that. What do you say? I didn't. I don't fuck your cat. Right, and if anyone ever asks you, like, "Hey, man, I heard you're a cat pervert," there's yeah. no right answer to that. No. no. Yeah. If you're like, "No, I'm not," well, why are people saying you are? This actually happened to my cousin's husband. Like, uh, he's from. Uh, I don't want to get the country wrong. He's from somewhere in uh, South America. And there Ecuador. was. Oh, you can get that wrong. I think it is Ecuador. Ecuador. You can. You can. I you were say Africa. Yeah, no. you can definitely get that. That's where it gets a little dicey. You can't get Asia wrong. All the you same. Can't sure. get, all, right, no, you, all the same. Africa and Asia, I feel like you can't Stephen get Stephen Stephen can get Asia wrong. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, so let's say Ecuador. He was living there, and there was a. I guess the the property that he was on in his neighbor's part, there wasn't like a huge divider or anything like that. And there was a cat that would come over, and they would give it uh, ham. Sounds and like a so, cat pervert move. Cat per that's a yep. big time cat pervert <laughs> And so yeah. the cat just kept coming to their house, and eventually they just took the cat in and they named him Hamon. Hamon? For ham. Ham. That it's is a good in, Sounds in like Ecuador. a cat pervert. Have you guys I ever did. heard the song, The Cat Came Back? Yeah, that's very next day? Yeah. No. Maybe. Thought he was a goner? The cat came back. He just yeah, yeah. couldn't stay away. I don't know the rest of it. I didn't stick with me. Yeah, that's children's song, right? Yes, that's right. Yeah, I'm like glad you you know it. It's Ron's neighbor is telling him he's a cat pervert because that cat garbage used to come over to his house all the time. Ron, what Ron. I was actually a cat pervert as well, because as well, because I wanted garbage to come over. Yeah, you're a cat. You're, everyone's a cat pervert. Cat pervert. There are a few things that people can accuse you of, regardless of whether they have any merit. Which, if they say that about you, right. you can no longer continue on your point. You instantly have to start s trying to yeah. prove that wrong. Be like yeah. being grimy or creep. When woman says creep, you're a creep. Yep. You're a creep. Yep. You can't. It, whatever argument you had before is yeah. done. And as soon as you start S arguing, it becomes creepy. A sneaky yeah. one is triggered. Yeah. Anyone uh, says you're triggered, yeah. it's over. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. You could just say anything, and people are like you're triggered, and you're like. Well, fuck, now I am. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's like when, my, when I go home and my mom's like, why are you in such a bad mood? Right. I'm like, well, I wasn't in a bad mood and now I am. Yeah, like, right. Now I'm in the worst mood. Cat pervert. A creep, cat pervert, triggered. I like the cat perverts in this list. Sexist, racist. Yeah. Both of those are big ones. Yeah, racist is tough because your like, immediate inclination is to be like, no, I have black friends. And then you're like, wait, no, that's... Mine, mine is to go, right. yeah, I am. 
<laughs> a little bit. Yeah. yeah. Give me your cat. I'll fuck it. Right I say, in front of you, buddy. I say I'm not racist. You're racist for saying the word racist. I, right. I bring yeah. that up. You brought race into this. Not you me. did. You're thinking of race. I don't see color. I'm colorblind, <laughs> but even colorblind can see black and white, right? Yes, I think so. It's not not everything's just transparent. <laughs> everything's just <laughs> color. <laughs> One time I was arguing with Kelly Keegs over the whole mean girl situation, um, her blog, which I had said was mean. And uh, I we were arguing and I said I didn't understand why, like what they did bothered her so much. You know, why not just sort of stay in your lane? And that was a mistake. Because <laughs> yeah. then she said, do you understand how sexist you sound right now? Yeah. And I said, Lane, oh. not kitchen. I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Frankie versus. Uh, uh, yes, Liz. Liz Ca- yeah. Yeah. Find that clip teaser. That was one of the most awkward tension moments. Film- I didn't really know what mansplaining was until I saw that clip. I don't remember this. Oh, I've never seen this either. Oh. So easy to avoid drama. I know. <laughs> Put your headphones in. Yeah, but then a cat just shows up in your yard. That's and the drama's difference. There. Yeah. You fuck it once. Yeah. <laughs> Let it lick you. Let it lick tuna off your dick one time. Oh man, and you're a cat. <laughs> so fucked up. I think I would do. I think I would put milk in my belly button for it. Ew, that's disgusting. Mm. Oh, if we're talking about being cat perverts, no, that's just sick. I gave our dog a bath this morning. Oh, yeah, yeah. Real pervert. Yeah, here we go. It gets touched weird. his ass, rubbed his shoulders, made him very uncomfortable. Yeah, Since yeah, that yeah, exact day, yeah. you know what? We lost tonight, but. We still it have might this. make you comfortable, I will go to sleep a but it looks because stupid. of it. It's not an argument for why we lost. Right. Walking out of that stadium saying, like, you're happy to be, like, where you're at in life, like, as a fan for that team <laughs> is head. insane. Wrong. Team. I'm saying well, I love my team so much, much that I would it. rather go well. to sleep a loser and be a fan of my team than wake up a winner and be a Red Sox fan. Yeah, yeah, yeah it doesn't make sense. What? I mean, like, no one's saying, we, like, when, when your team loses, you don't be like, I want to become a Red Sox fan. We're just saying, like, they're in a better spot than us. Do you get that? Oh, do I get that? Dave's saying that. That's mansplaining. That's mansplaining. Oh, fuck. I forgot how awkward no, that was. I just wanted to, just wanted to know why, why the Yankees lost after no, losing no, no. three games. I, meant like I thought it was a seven-game series. You keep saying that. You keep saying that it had nothing to do with the fandom, and I just meant like they're in a better spot. I don't want to do this anymore. I didn't mean to say that. I wasn't meant to be a man. Oh, that ruled. Yeah. Oh. Oh, is that why? <sighs> she caught it immediately. Right away. That was what made it so good. So what's up? So the, the show went well last night? Yeah, we did our first dollar slice comedy show. How big is that room? 200. 200? Yeah, it was packed. Nice. It was good. It was like there were people standing in the back. Oh, really? Did yeah. people get a dollar slice? No. So that was Owen's that? show for a while, and then... It was Owen and Mooks. Yeah, we just... they We did... I don't know. I don't know why. I don't actually don't know how that became the name of the show. Um, I think it was just dollar a- slice of life. Dollar slices of like you know synonymous with New York City. Yeah, yeah. slice of life. I think we're going away from the dollar slices of life thing, though. I think it's just dollar slice. Dollar What's slice dollar comedy. slices of life? That was the name of the the comedy the show. Name. Oh, that felt a little. I don't know. Moth storytelling. Oh to yeah, me. yeah. Um. So I think we're gonna just keep a dollar slice comedy, and uh, yeah, it was great. There was one really awkward. You'll love this sass. Yeah, I heard all about it. That's Did why I texted no, you. tell me? Uh, yeah, I want to hear. No, no, I don't think tell me in about private. It. Fuck off. Oh, wait, 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 yeah, no. You don't want me to talk about that? Oh, oh, come on. I think it's fine. No, I don't think we should. Why? He wasn't happy. Who? But it's not his fault. Yeah, I, I have. We have to tell it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're in a this tough spot. Yeah, I won't say their names. Don't say the name. Don't yeah, say the name. Don't say their names. Two comedians. Great comics. One is a trans Asian lesbian. Get it? Get it? 
Check and all those boxes. We need her voting for Jerry. They. And she's very funny. Very funny. Yeah. They've Is done it, The Tonight she, Show. I don't, know. I don't know. They are in a new movie. I guess it would be pretty easy to figure out who this is. But she or he. They. Got it. Gender plural. Yeah. Uh, they went up and had a good set and did a lot of jokes about being trans and their identity, and it was good. And then the next comedian came up. And his set has a lot of trans jokes in it. Whoa. Oh. And it was Dave Chappelle? Yes. <laughs> yeah. And did he uh he, he didn't did he know he was following No. Them? Oh, that's no. awesome. No, and, and I don't I don't even know that he knew that their set would have so much content about being trans in it. So we didn't think to buffer them to separate them they should have been on like one of them should have been first and one of them should have been last that's right yeah. <laughs> or or different shows yeah. entirely yeah. well, well yeah. no what happened was well they were the, jokes uh, yes but but the audience had just been we like confused taught how what it's like <laughs> it was like educational person <laughs> oh, then the man. next the comic talk? came up and was like making jokes <laughs> that they've just been yeah, been, been made to feel. How was the delivery? In was with with like a little bit of reluctance. Yeah, yeah. He <laughs> oh, knew that's, awesome. that's a good comedy. He knew he though. was in a very difficult spot. Well, so props to both of them. He was pissed. I think he was just down. He was like down about it. Did he crush? He did okay. He did fine. You yeah. set him up. The, the about, audience probably didn't know whether to laugh hard or not at all. The audience clearly that. felt that and laughing at... Because the trans comic remained for the whole show. And, did and they, they knew that they were in... The audience knew that they uh, were in the room. Uh, so oh. They didn't want to laugh and and mock absolutely. that comic. They just learned. That had just taught them. That is wow. a tough situation. And it was a tough... Uh, I mean, it was a really interesting moment. I've never encountered something like How that. How did the trans comic uh, respond, if at all? F- g- good-naturedly. Yeah. Um, it was good. They're a seasoned comic, and I think they... My guess is that they are a, a comic in first uh, and can right. respect that other comics are going to have jokes about everything and that it's not... It's a comedy show, so... I'm not going to take offense. That's my guess. Oh, you were hosting, right? Yeah. So you did the transition? I called it, and I called it out, too. Okay. I didn't mean to say transition, but yeah. <laughs> uh, That's crazy. I called yeah, it out uh, because I didn't. I had to. I mean, well, That would be good like fodder for future sets for maybe both of them. Yeah, this should be like yeah. a rough and rowdy of comedy, just having it back-to-back, like a yeah, Nazi comic kind of and a Jewish comic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but then the Jewish comic is always going to have the upper hand there. Unless you're doing a crowd. You don't know how the Nazi comic, maybe the Nazi comic That is murders. exceptional material for the guy. Yeah. Like that yeah, story I, alone yes, is I, very I, funny. I, I yeah, he will get right. to use that going forward in another set. I think you're right. I think you're right. I We had a thing at the end of the show, a joke of the night, where all the comics come back up and do a rapid fire, their best joke, 30 seconds, one hitter, quick succession, and then the audience gets to decide by applause whose joke they like the best and then the, that person wins a five hundred dollar prize five hundred bucks and the barstool gift store <laughs> no oh. cash five hundred dollars in stella blue yeah been awesome yeah. <laughs> and how's it 20 percent off stella blue <laughs> i i i Drags, actually. i went up and asked the comic who had had the rougher set who had um made the trans jokes i said you know are you ready for this and he goes I don't I don't want to do this. I don't want to be he was like I don't want to be here anymore. <laughs> and it wasn't like rude. It was just like I'm I feel like this is I'm in a really bad spot right yeah. now. Yeah. And he, I said He didn't do it. He did and he did a great joke. It was not a trans joke. Did it win? He didn't win. Jeez. But nor nor did the trans comic. Well, how much of his set was trans jokes? That was like a lot. <laughs> there, <laughs> were, <laughs> there were a <laughs> few. Like a yeah. But I mean they look it's comedy. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Should win all, like, everything should be fair game. I, I don't think it, this was, nobody expected this to be a safe space. 
The comics were fine. The the weirdest actor in it all was the audience. Right. Because they had been like, they had faced, I don't know, a progressive lesson and then been immediately forced to see a comic perform, which they felt they couldn't laugh openly at because of what they'd just been taught. Yeah. that's That was my diagnosis right. of it. Yeah, if I'm sitting next to them, I don't know if I would feel comfortable hawing. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's amazing. But I was, and they were laughing at the comics jokes. Good. Yeah. That Which, was, to me, is, you know, good. It's on Good. It. I love it. Tia, you said you had video of Meek Phil? I didn't You talk to him way more about re signing him next year. I, I want to guarantee What the fuck? What the dog shit is? Yeah. I walked in on that. I was like, that has to be a skit. <laughs> this is his video. <laughs> the voice oh, it's <laughs> sounds fake. Oh, oh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> put this dog shit here. Whose dog is this? <laughs> oh, my God. There's a, he was on there the whole time. I don't fucking wash my own shoes now. <laughs> oh, that was oh, awesome. Wait, let's get it. Let's get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I just want to hear the what the fuck again. Yeah, me too. <laughs> it sounds like the fakest line ever. I, I want to guarantee What the fuck? <laughs> I love how dog. I know. <laughs> you thought a human came in and sprinkled dog shit on her. <laughs> oh, shit. Uh, Place this dog shit on the ground. <laughs> you know what? Um, what Hairball KB and I did last week that was really fun. Ooh. We went and sat on a park bench. Oh and, yeah. Uh, and just watched people for a couple, like an hour. Yeah. It's like, um, have you ever watched? Uh, he had a blast, or I did. We were high, and Sass wasn't. Sass was making us crack up. Yeah, Sass was just or, talking, and yeah. KB and I were laughing our fucking dicks. <laughs> it out. was funny though. It's really funny. Who's on fire? Kyle Mooney and um, Zach Bennett. Yeah. They do. Th- uh, oh yeah, those videos people were or something? so funny. They deleted all of those. Really? You can still find them on. Oh, YouTube. Oh, because they didn't get like people to sign off. They deleted them, bef- like when they got SNL. Oh, it's like uh, I think it's called Theater of Life, maybe. Yeah. And they sit on a park bench. Yeah, those are hilarious. And they just like mimic. They'll like zoom in on people talking, and they'll like talk for them. Mm. Yeah. And they're so fucking. Yeah. yeah there there was, was a guy a jumping guy around pretending like to be a bunny rabbit. rabbit. Bunny rabbit yeah. guy, fifty year old, really, really bald weird. guy. Where were you guys watching Square Park? <laughs> no, we were Madison Bryan or Madison. Just like- Madison Square Park near the old office. Yeah, that was nuts. And there was a guy in the little park. We're sitting on a bench looking at the park, and he's shirtless. And he's wearing high, high cut jean shorts, and he's I don't know. He's putting on a show. He's emulating a bunny. Strange guy. I, to the point that we were like, "Are we being recorded right now?" Yeah, and he was doing a circle of the big green area, the grassy area, and he had his hands up and he was hopping and looking at us. Yeah, smiling. Dude. And just staring at us, and, and we were well, we're la- KB and I are laughing our heads <laughs> off. Sass is perturbed, and uh, he keeps checking to see if we're looking at him. That's like awesome. he would like turn around, take a couple steps, and then and he then was like insecure about his act because he kept checking to see if we were laughing, and we were. <laughs> then he just fell, and then he just fell asleep on the grass. Yeah. <laughs> like thirty seconds later. Job well done. Oh, yeah. Uh, like like starfish laid out on mm-hmm. the grass. Yeah. I respect the hell out of people who just go sit in parks all day. Yeah, I know. It's like an awesome life. I used to do that when I first moved here, and then I was like, this kind of sucks. Really? Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah. If you're old, uh, you have nothing else to do. You either got to pick a bench. You got to pick a ground. bench. Oh, you can't do ground. Yeah, there were a group. There were some groups of people there that we were like, like people like sitting around like pretending to play like a guitar, but clearly they've never. They were a guitar waiting before. to get photographed. Yeah, we were like these people are accounts. clearly waiting to for someone to like take like a grainy film photo of them. <laughs> be like New York City man. Yeah, I kind of love it. Yeah. Get um, Billy Football sent me a sketch that he wanted me to read for uh, 
we should try to have it get made for by by Harry's um, sketch show. Yeah, and it's uh, I mean it's really one of the worst things I've ever. Read. <laughs> 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 I, I, asked him, I asked him if I could blog it. Uh, what did he say? And he was like, "Oh no, I, we should make it." And I'm like, "I, I don't think that's possible. It's it's uh, a mess." I think he pitched it to me, and I, I I forgot it. He pitched it to you guys a year ago. Yeah. He, he sent it to Owen, and he's like, "They never got back to me, so yeah. I'm sending it to you." How many bros are in it? I don't know. I don't remember any part of it. It's so, almost. Uh, can I just give you the? Yeah. Yes? Yeah. 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 No. Yeah. Please. You're not blogging it right now. No, I'm not. Right. So it's called the briefing, written by William Cotter. Okay. Man in a suit walks down the hall, being pat on the back. Multiple people in suits congratulate him. John the Staffer. Congrats, Bradford. It was a tough race, but you won. I'm not going to read the whole thing. Basically. This bro wins the presidential election. Okay. Oh, we're, well, this is the president. Yeah, Bradford is the pre, uh, the president. <laughs> Billy's like, we got to give this bro a name. Like, yeah. Brad. Bradford. Wait, he just won the presidency. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Bradford. Bradford. That's Bradford. exactly what his thought process was. <laughs> Bradford McKenzie. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like nice, nice uh, Caucasian stock. By the way, the other characters in this, their names are Bob... Brad, Bradford, and Caesar. Oh, <laughs> all right. Go figure. Um, and basically, Bradford wants uh, to celebrate his victory, says things like, Booyah, baby. I am the fucking leader of the free world, Bob. What the fuck could you have to bug me down with now? <laughs> That's a real line? Yeah. I mean, dude, I can't, I can't make this up. Um, Bradford is boisterously cocky and basking in his victory. Uh, Bob, you son of a bitch. If you hadn't had me stop in that bum fuck town in Iowa, I wouldn't have won this thing. Let's just make it quick. You're standing between me and the mistress that wasn't allowed on the campaign trail. Uh, what? And so, well, so I, I guess it. Bob, Bob. I want to make this. Yeah, I like it so far. It's anti-comedy. Yeah. Bob wants to brief him for the presidency and the president just wants to celebrate and bob introduces him to this guy caesar kazar k-z-a-r <laughs> and they meet and then caesar starts clearing up all of the conspiracy theories that billy subscribes to yeah so it's just a way basically for billy to put what he believes the Denver airport actually is. <laughs> who killed Kennedy? Wait, give me, give me uh, one of them. Yeah, um, yeah. Some, li some dialogue. I want Billy to make this, but he yeah. has to do it like, like uh, Eddie Murphy has to, like playing all the parts. Yeah, all make the him make yeah. this. Yeah, make him make this, but he has to play Caesar, Bradford, <laughs> Bob, Brad. <laughs> It'd be great. Yeah. So Caesar says, "All right, I'll answer your questions, but you better cooperate with what I am about to tell you." Brad Snickers, thinking he has one up the longtime presidential confidant. Brad, so E.T. phone home? Question mark. Caesar, the UFOs are advanced technology we reverse engineered from a craft that crash landed in Roswell. The hominids on board, we are unsure of their source, may be from far space or from far time. We use that technology to defend against nuclear attacks. Brad was dumbfounded and completely enthralled. His tense <laughs> and and lack of articles. I, I I mean, Brad. Wow. What about Bigfoot? Caesar sighs at the infantile nature of all these questions. You don't have more pertinent questions about Russia impeding advancement in France or the <laughs> impending failure of the newly installed levees in New York Harbor to prevent it from being flooded. Uh, Brad, come on, I have plans to legislate that. Tell me about Sasquatch. Caesar, there were small populations of surviving gi Gigantopithecus in the cave systems under national parks. Teddy Roosevelt <laughs> okay. designated those areas parks to prevent friction between humans and the ancient beasts. 
FDR during the Great New Deal enlisted unemployment WW World War One veterans to exterminate the majority of their populations. There are almost none left with too small of a population to produce out of extinction. What about Mothman? And while this is going on, is there any physical comedy or like slapstick? Or that would no. be funny if in- I, I don't even think there are, are jokes. I was gonna yeah. say, is there like a final <laughs> joke? Does the joke come at the final question or something? Like he just like, wants to make like a, a movie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it, it's like the, the it, I think I think it was just a way for him to put his conspiracies into like a, a visual medium. I, it would be great if Billy like had it written, and, and the entire time there's just a guy getting hit in the nuts. Yeah, yeah that would make it funny. That would be funny. Someone steps in dodge. Is there any like 9/11 yeah. in there? Yeah. Ever increasing the 9/11? stain, maybe. Oh. Uh, Denver a- Airport. WTF is going on there? That's the president's. <laughs> <laughs> you mean Bradford McKenzie? Bradford McKenzie. That name is good. Caesar. Probably the most relevant question you have asked. It is the emergency location of our government if the country is ever under nuclear attack or the improbable situation Washington is under enemy control. That is your main destination in any event of an attack. Bush was taken there immediately after 9-11. Wait, to where? The Denver Denver Airport. Airport. Oh, (laughs) got it. And then he says, now can I begin your brief? And Brad says, interesting, last question, what happened to JFK? Caesar, you asked, er, JFK asked too many questions. Caesar gets up and tosses a file across the room. The file says, Bradford McKenzie, first term script. Oh. And then Caesar says, he also didn't stick to the script. Brad McKenzie sits alone in the conference room, dumbfounded and humbled, holds his head in his hands, and realizes his lifetime goal of becoming president has put him in an incredibly sinister position. Great so for a presidency sketch, was scripted. <laughs> is that it? Is that, is that the end? And that JFK was killed for not following the president. Script. Yeah. Script. That's just like a mashup of macro dosing. Yeah. Like AI. Exactly. <laughs> yes. I love it. Billy's brain is the best. It's good. It's like a it's twelve. It's hell, like a twelve-year-old that was born th- like his parents were the internet. Yeah. <laughs> that's that's his. Yeah. Oh my God! He sent like the that. script to me and was like, "You got to read this. I think it's really good. I think we can make it." And I said, "Okay." You have to make it. He's been sitting yeah. on it for a year. He's making. It's what Please I like best it. about it. He's yeah. Does he have any like new drafts of it or anything? Well, this is the issue. He wrote it in notes. <laughs> and oh yeah. He's decided to bold the most random thing. <laughs> names are so similar. You, it's I, very hard to read. We'll make it on the yak. Yeah, I would play. Yeah, I would so love I would... to play a character. Yeah. Ca- who do we have to talk to, TJ, to like get us? Like, I'll, I'll, we will make this script. I think we could do it. I, well, we could probably just do it. Do you no? want to talk to Billy? Yeah, let's just do it. All right. But, should we tell Billy to come in here? Yeah. Tell Billy to come. Let him know it's greenlit. Your script is ready to go. Tomorrow we'll, we will act this out. It's or should good. we debut it? As if we wrote it and steal it from Billy and see if he notices. Oh, oh. wait, Steven! <laughs> we should put it on the main page. Yeah, put it on. The Although page. So he's probably gonna hear this. Yeah, yeah he will. Nah, People nah, already nah, DM'd him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. yeah, get him. Yeah, people have already. People are already like hitting him up in like Bradford McKenzie. What a character. Yeah. <laughs> he's very. He's very sweet about it. I. I. Uh, he's a sincere guy. Uh, yeah, but the other thing that is confusing to me about Billy is that the fir- he he constantly tells me that he he pulls me aside and he's like, you know, I- I'm a lot smarter than people think. Yeah, he's big on that. And he's like, I went to Williams, you know, you went to Harvard, like you get it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, there's one other guy who does this all the time. Who is it at Barstool? I'm a lot smarter than people think. Probably White Sox Dave. Yes. It's yeah. White Sox Dave. Yeah. Well, he went to Northwestern. It's White Sox Dave. Yeah, yeah. Did he actually go to Northwestern? No. Oh. No. Billy, sit down. Here, sit. We're making your script. We're making it? We're making it. <laughs> Hell yeah. I don't think, so I'll, I'll say this in the nicest way possible. I don't think it's going to get the laughs that you intended, but I think it's going to be funny. 
I th- I think it needs some work. It no, I want to make it as is. As is. Yeah, this is going to be like Michael Scarn in The Office. Yes, like It's going to be yes, that's... anti-comedy. It's going to be so bad that it's so good. I think it could be good if it gets a little more, like, it workshopped and stuff. But it could be good good. It doesn't have to be, like, bad good. I kind of like it being bad good. I know, but I've done a, I've made a lot of bad good. I want to make some good good. Okay. Okay. Maybe we're not there yet. So how do you want to punch it up? I, I, I'm working on it right now. Oh, you are, like, right now. I don't know. It's just, like, it's the first thing I've yeah. ever written ever. I know yeah. there's a lot of people here who's written a lot of stuff professionally and stuff. I, I like, don't know how to. So I'm just workshopping it. I think That's Francis, good. I like that. He did a bad job of like reading the script and relaying what like the jokes were. What what was like No, no I didn't. <laughs> oh, you read the script? I, I, I gave him all of it. it. Not all of it. Gave him okay. Yeah, he was purposely yeah, he uh, misleading. No, no, no. <laughs> what, were, what were like the highlights in your it's, head? It was just a concept I wrote down. At, at the end, like, I don't know, it's like more of like a, a twist at the end that's supposed to, it needs to be fleshed out. There needs to be more jokes added. Francis gave some great, uh, you know, guidance on it because he's he's a writer. He, like, has the, the, the program that actually makes a script look like a script. Yeah. Yeah. You? So Final did. draft. What was his oh. <laughs> <laughs> say word? I just wrote this on. Soft word? No, I just wrote this on, like, Google Drive. He has, like, a thing that makes it look like an actual script. I what was his it. feedback to you? Uh, that I, was, I was very, I wanted to help. Yeah, I want you to feel helping. like encouraged to keep trying. I will. I also, I think this would be a very funny concept. Again, maybe not the last we're looking for, but I think it would be funny. It would be funny. Right. Yeah. Well, I, who knows? That was the big note I said is you got to have more jokes. There, there just weren't any jokes. Mm-hmm. And you were l- relying on this twist at the end, which... If it's a comedy sketch, it, you, it reads right now a little bit more like a, a, a mystery. Like a black or, mirror yeah. Twilight Zone thing. Kind of. Yeah. So, really, Billy, what, but... talk me through the um, name of the president. I uh, just wanted to make him sound like a douchebag. Okay. You so, didn't want to go Brad McKenzie? Bradford McKenzie, the yeah, full name? Or official. That was the full name? Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Just I like, like some dude, and he's like a douchebag, and he like is an egomaniac, and he becomes president. And then he realizes, oh shit, I'm not king of the world. Right, I gotta follow the script. Yeah. This could be like a good drama. Yeah, <laughs> I didn't. You know, I have a lot of ideas like this. Like I have another idea where Teddy Roosevelt uh, gets into a war with a bunch of Sasquatches that live in the national parks. Okay. And then he has to go under Yellowstone National Park because they live in a bunch of cave systems in the national parks, and he like brokers a treaty deal in this like sauna. Like hot water spring type thing, like with the Sasquatch. Yeah, and they're all like sitting in the hot tubs, like you know those monkeys in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Chilling that those. Monkeys. Yeah, they're all like chilling, and they like broker a deal. And Teddy Roosevelt's like, "You guys get all the national parks. We'll never develop them, and we'll protect them." I like it also that. needs to be fleshed out. There's a couple other ideas. I like it too because it's like working a little bit of his history into it, where it's like this is how it happened. Yeah, historical fiction. Is is the script based on? Your beliefs? No. Your conspiracy beliefs? No. Um, no. Borrowed from your own beliefs. Yeah, just... Any of us could be Bradford McKenzie. That's true. (laughs) That's true. I also have this other TV show idea. Okay, all right, let's go. It's called uh, Tiki Torches and Touchdowns. It's Friday Night Lights based in Hawaii Mm. with a bunch of, like, Hawaii Five O themes, like, sort of, like, Outer Banks type stuff, but you just incorporate it with football. I would now love that it. is just you're yeah, just trying to go to Hawaii. For yeah. <laughs> no, 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 no. But like starring Billy Football. <laughs> like like you have a like a dog, the bounty hunter type character who's the father of like the quarterback, and the quarterback's best friend on the team's father is someone that bounty hunters hunting. Oh, and then there's that dynamic. And oh, then, like boats get stolen, and Outer Bank stuff. Okay, boom. I, I like know. that. I like that. Good opportunity to cast a lot of um, Pacific Islanders. Yeah, that yeah. was going to be a whole thing. Diversity perspective. One episode yeah. was going to be like the Samoans get pissed at the Polynesians and the coach has to like rein it all in. Okay. So. Okay. Who's the bounty hunter? No. no the the co- coach is. Oh, no, the uh, coach is the bounty hunter, the dad of the quarterback. The coach has to navigate all these right. issues and he just moved from the mainland. 
like now, California, where yeah, he's California, to fit in because he's a noob in Hawaii. Yeah, he's a noob in oh, Hawaii, right. and we're discovering just like he is the intricacies of Hawaiian culture. Yeah. And also, a quarterback gets a scholarship to Texas, but he really likes to surf, and he doesn't want to go to Texas because there's no surf. Okay, Tiny tsunami. And, but there is surf in Texas, but he doesn't know that. Like High School Musical. There is surf in Texas. Yeah, Galveston. That's not near Austin. Right, but he's like UT. He's like it's an inland. So what happens when he finds out that there is surf in Texas? He's like, yo, there's there's surf like an hour away, and he's like, oh man, I can go to Texas, and there's <laughs> no Hawaii surf. Yeah, yeah, but then like he goes to Texas for one year and gets kicked out. Uh, Why surfing oh, too no. much? Sexual assault. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he raped. Then someone. he goes back to Big Island and he goes to U Hawaii. And there's like a big homecoming. Oh shit! These are just a bunch of story li- storylines that like could happen. I like that. I haven't developed it yet. Well, you know, you you could also I, you could throw a little nod into Manti Teo in there too. Yeah, yeah there could oh. be a fake girlfriend. Yeah, yeah. fake girlfriend. Yeah, surfing. No, no, fake boyfriend. Uh, oh, what about oh, fake? Nice. What about fake? What about fake linebacker? Everyone's <laughs> like, yeah, the dude's gonna show up anytime. Like our defense will be set. And it's just like some chick sitting in a yeah. room being like, I, I run a four four forty. Like I'll be there in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, turn the t- yeah, reverse it. Ooh, that would be. And huge. They show up. And they're like, "Fuck, our defense is fucked." No, I think if we put all the brains girl. behind tiki torches and touchdowns, we really could get something going. Now, when you said tiki torches and touchdowns, I was thinking it was going to be yes, like I a know. Charlottesville, no. like you know, yeah. the Nazis now have a really sick football team. Literally, there will be an episode with that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, where they realize tiki torches are bad. Yeah, yeah. Also, a hog, hog. hunting episode. Okay. Uh, the team goes hog hunting. Okay. Like a team bonding activity. Yeah. It, but then the uh, like a giant wild hog like like bo- like gores one of like the good players and then like he can't play. Oh, Fuck. that's yeah. fucked. Maybe it kills. Maybe maybe it kills the other dude that the the bounty hunter is trying to get. Maybe yeah. the maybe the maybe the wild hog they catch the wild hog and they're about to kill it and then they see in its eyes and then they make the wild hog the mascot. The mas- yes. He's the mascot, live mascot, but then he goes wild again and kills someone on the other team. Yes. Oh, shit. I love in the middle this. of a game. I love this. Yeah. See? Yeah, they're like the, the, the star running back from, uh, from their rival school is running for a touchdown, and the wild hog makes the open field tackle. Oh, Lord of the Flies, they have to take a plane to a smaller island to play them. And it crashes. It crashes? On a desert island. That and they see like Tom Hanks. Can we get like Tom Hanks <laughs> in there? Oh, yeah. There could be just a yeah. random dude. Tom Herman. Hanks becomes like the greatest offensive coordinator ever. He's like, look, I've been on this island for a really long time. All I've been doing is drawing up plays. Yeah. In like a cave. Yeah. And there's like watches in the, in the cave. Yeah, yeah. you love Teddy it. Roosevelt. Your big yeah. cave yeah. guy. <laughs> and the ghosts. Dude, all of, the ghosts the of Marshall's football Plato. team. Plato. <laughs> oh. oh. Yeah. That's dark. Really, these are good ideas. Thank you. You gotta just navigate them. I just need to learn how to like write a script so other people can read it. Just get final draft. Yeah. I, also, they made. They I gave made, you more feedback than properly formatting it. As a no, uh, yeah, it was a little like those those formatting uh, softwares like format it for you. Yeah, nice. it's easy. You type like character dialogue like it, and you just click on it and then it's you're typing in the dialogue no I, I had no idea what the format was i just like started typing stuff into google drive in the way i thought it was supposed to be but it's confusing to other people you, it's it feels like you're sort of putting this on me no, no i'm not putting it on you and i totally don't know the the way to interpret what it. i would say that the the content within which i still managed to make sense of you know, we talked about it. There, there needed to yes, be some, yes. like a, 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 a clear theme, right? And I don't, I don't, I disagree. Uh, maybe just physical comedy, like someone keeps like. I, I think yeah. we should start yeah. like a franchise that's just that Billy's brain, and whatever he spits out, we make. No edits. <laughs> it would be interesting. True. And it like nothing is linear. There's just uh, like time skips and everything, and it's just very confused. It almost like you're saying like Black Mirror, but it's just purposely as confusing as possible. <laughs> Billy, there are AI programs. You can submit that script, and they can like they'll make a trailer for it. Oh, Billy, you should do cause that. It's would a writer be, strike. that sounds like? Yeah, if Billy, you should just do an be, AI series. Oh, no, but if if you're like wanting a a, a scab writer, I'll I'll write. Okay. It'll, it'll be Hollywood, are you listening? Yeah. 
I like this. I want to make these. Could work. We'll see. I think, it, again, I don't know what the the laughs will be, but there will be laughs. I know. I know. Laughs are laughs. We're working on purposely being funny a little. Right. Yeah. But, that's, but, but, but you can accidentally be funny on the way. Right. 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 I'm in. Billy, well, I'll give you, like, unlimited budget to make this. I don't care. It's going to be, yeah, that was my other question, was the budget for it. It's got to be pretty crazy if it's, you got to go to Hawaii. Yeah, yeah, that that would be pretty. I think we could probably do it in Long Island. Did, how much money yeah. did James <laughs> Cameron need for Avatar? I think we could do it, like. You could probably do it at, like, Pebble Beach in Brooklyn. Yeah. yeah. City Island in the Bronx. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Bre- you know. We're here in Hawaii, and it's just, like, every shot has the Brooklyn Bridge in it. <laughs> 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 this is so funny. Oh, Man, I'm so on. in on this. East one, River. One blow up happen. palm tree. Yeah. <laughs> I think they did that for uh, Rumble t- in the Bronx with Jackie Chan. It's filmed in Vancouver, so there's all these mountains in the background. Well, they film a shitload of shit in Vancouver, yeah. the uh, We have, like, <laughs> the the wild boar that they capture is just, like, Stella in a in a <laughs> costume. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you got to expect the pilot to be a little low budget until it gets picked up by like Netflix or Hulu. Right. Yeah. There's legs. So are we thinking? Lemmer's we- the Samoan. Yeah. <laughs> he's just got the yeah. tattoos on his body. No, he's in the Moana costume. <laughs> yeah, he's listed at like yeah, three fifty. He's the nose tackle. Clemmer <laughs> could be the the uh, the catfish linebacker. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he shows up and they're like, "What the fuck?" Yeah. But then he ends up being really good. Yeah. 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 Twitchy. He's got crazy speed. Okay. By the way, do you know that Stephen Shea has never taken a live snap and thinks he can throw an NFL completion? Yeah. I, was this yesterday's episode? Talked about it's, it. it's going on for a, a quick week. screen pass might be possible. I didn't try he's going to establish a run. I think that I think that within the first ten reps, he'd get irreversibly damaged. I would agree. <laughs> I would agree. Like, like he, 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 they keep saying that his mental toughness would keep him in there, and I'm just like, you've never taken a hit yeah, but before. You're in your not life. as mentally strong as I am. That's that is fact. not no, true. No, Billy, Billy, uh, Billy, 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 Billy. That is not Billy, true. There is not a person in this world who is as mentally as tough as Stephen Che. Stephen I'm Che. Being honest. Stephen yeah. Che would get hit by one free rusher. Billy. And just get Look the win knocked He's out. He's unfazed. No, no, He's Stephen proving Jay's himself. Brain. You're proving him I, right. The man cannot lose. It's not like he's mentally tough like he can take the most pain. He's mentally tough. He thinks that everything he does is a win. Okay. He has the mental fortitude that is unmatched by anyone on planet Earth. Okay. It's just it, there was a point where his delusion, like how delusional he was, was like making me angry. Right, right. But then you got listen. I've, I've been there many times with him. You just got to be like, yes, yeah, Stephen, you can do it. Because there's no, there's you can't fight it. He yeah. he he can't be beat. Yeah, he has a good offensive line. He's an established Snap. run. Did you did you know the part about establishing the run? No, I, I heard the part about how he was going to get the ball out in two seconds. And then I, I gave him like a seven-on-seven seven snap, and he bobbled Billy hiked it. it at my <laughs> ankles, and I was like, there's no way you could that do That wasn't at your ankles. It was That was like – anyway, it was just infuriating. Like freshmen get into like high school games. Like freshmen get into like high school practices, and they see a line for the first time, and they panic. Right. And the fact that Stephen Shea, who's never played tackle football before, thinks he can step in front of an NFL line and not panic – He's infuriating. But he is Stephen Che. Maybe um, he panics the first. Doesn't he have 30 attempts? Yeah, and also he wouldn't panic. But in yeah. the panic, he'd get flattened and then he'd be Billy's gun-shot. putting you have to understand his brain on my body. <laughs> no, right, right. Yes. 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 That's yes. no, 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 no. Oh, that's You're absolutely doing great. No. Oh, you, Billy, if he, if Stephen Che stood in front of a uh, uh, defensive line, NFL defensive line, in his brain, he'd be like, "I'm exactly where I should be in my life." Like I finally like finally uh, yeah. someone has recognized <laughs> right. my talent. Seven on seven, I'll give it to him. Thirty attempts, nothing with the real line of scrimmage. He he would he would be like calling out the mic and be like, I, "This I've been I've been in this place. All the decisions I made in my life have led me to here where I should be, starting quarterback for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers." Can we please like organize you know, like pangs of nostalgia as soon as he got up? There. Can we uh, for nostalgia that doesn't even exist, right? Can we like put him? <laughs> can we please put him in like a college or high school practice? I would love to. Well, you keep Just saying school. high school. I said high school. I think high school. I think, think, think you'd be able to do it even in high school. Yeah, and he said I, easily he would. No, oh, exactly. Like St. Joe's, nah. The fog of the fog of 
the game would totally enca- like like do you think you could in an NFL game? Yes. Uh <laughs> That's one of those things where like I think I could throw a speed out. I think I could throw a you short. No, Billy could do it. I could, I could do I couldn't drive anything downfield, but like short game, I think I get something off. You do. Okay. You're saying yeah. this isn't a skill-based challenge. It's more be it'd be mental, it'd be the No, pressure. no, no. It would it would be like getting it off like moving through a couple progressions more than one absolutely not first pre-snap throw 100 like not 100 percent, but like would have a chance to do it in 30 reps okay never know do you think uh is that because of steven's uh lack of athleticism so he's also he's never played football is is that it i don't think he's ever experienced the level of adrenaline where he has to do that computation well steve defend yourself he did take ryan mallet to the super bowl Several times. Several times. On a Win couch. the Super Bowl as well. <laughs> yeah. F- only 51 speed? Uh, it was low 50s. Yeah. But I worked him up. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Billy, thank you. We're going to be having these. me. Yes. Yes. I'll, I'll go work on the script. That was a great appearance in the act. Thank you, Billy. Yeah, work on. Don't. No, don't even work on the script. Go. Let's uh, go. Yeah. Start. Ready. Let's work it on tiki torches and touchdowns. This one's good. Okay. Yeah. Tiki torches yeah. and touchdowns needs a. I need a pilot on my desk by tomorrow. Start working I can on that. Give you the first five minutes. No, oh, I need a twenty-minute episode. I, I have a vision for the opening scene of the whole series. The coach is getting interviewed by a uh, student journalist for the paper, and uh, one of the kids just got suspended for smoking weed. All right. Okay. That's yeah. about thirty seconds. <laughs> no, no, but 21 or 19 and a half more. Oh, you don't know the dialogue. It could be slow. True. Yeah. Right. About him coming and then, like, how are you dealing with your star running back smoking weed? This is also set in the. Hey, why is he coming? Because he. The mainland. Tax, taxes. Tax. <laughs> no, yeah, taxes. California taxes. Oh, they don't follow that in Hawaii. To why you have good taxes? I don't know. Oh, he's got. No, no, no. <laughs> really. The California coach has to have, like, burnt out. Like, oh, he won a California. state championship in California, but, like, the town, like, was, like, we're enough of your shit. Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. What if his wife left him, and she is the cheerleading coach at this Hawaii place oh. now, and he wants to win her back? Yeah. That's what ties in yeah. the cheerleaders. Totally. I like that. Totally can happen. I like oh. that. Yeah. And he, like, yeah. he's pretending he doesn't even know. He's like, oh, she's here? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah exactly. What are the odds? Or he just escapes California because of COVID. Oh, okay. All yeah. right. Yeah. So what are the names? He hates of Gavin the... Newsom. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He he was coaching in San Francisco. Yeah, and he got carjacked. Yeah. He's like, fuck this. Yeah. Some of the names of the, the homeless characters, homeless. like the native characters. Oh, that's <laughs> a fa- I I'm gonna have to do some research on that. Okay. But uh, Kai. A question yeah. wasn't offensive. No. <laughs> <laughs> just, Billy just goes, that's offensive. <laughs> no, like, I knew, <laughs> yeah, that's offensive. <laughs> yeah. To uh, ask what, what's an, a Samoan name? Yeah, I'd have what's to. What's your best answer. Samoan accent? Nope. I don't know if I can do a good one. I had a dude on. You're uh, gonna be playing all the characters, so you're gonna have to do a Samoan. Remember my uh, guy on Tennessee, the tight end Pua Stubbs. There you go. You can have yeah. him. Pua. Oh, Pua's good. Yeah. Pua's good. Oh, there's gonna be a whole Mormon contingent. Yeah. Also. Damn, missionaries. We're culture war. Oh yeah, well it's actually like all in Hawaii too. Oh, I, Billy, Mormon the, contingent, and then there's like the big game, and everyone's nervous, and they accidentally start drinking like regular Coke, and they get yeah. so jacked up they win by like a million. That's exactly. Yeah, these are all things that could because like Texas high school football has like been so done, and even Northwest high school football has been so done. But like like Hawaiian football, like I've met a couple of the kids. Like on my team, and then also like in recruiting camps, like it's so interesting, like all the different dynamics, because Hawaii is such like a like a melting pot of the Pacific in the first place. Does that, Hawaii get pumped about like Friday night football? Yeah, like, they, have really? they have very football. good athletics. Oh, right, yeah, such a small population. Yeah, okay. like it's uh, it's pretty impressive. Like Manti Te, uh, not Manti Te, yeah, yeah. Wait, no, uh, I was saying Marcus Mariota, yeah, product of Hawaii high school football. Like tons of was as well. Yeah. He's Hawaiian. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like something that. Have you ever been to Hawaii? Absolutely. No. Okay. I haven't. We're going to well, get you I there. 
really like this. I think they're, you're right. I think there's a lot. And of like h- how successful the Outer Banks was with all that. A lot of bathing like, suits and fashion stuff. Yeah. Has Hawaii even had a drama, let alone a teen drama yet? I, I don't know. Like Hawaii, Hawaii Five-0. Oh, yeah. Like, what about Mormons? Yeah. Mormons. Again, you can I have a whole like polygamy scandal in an episode. So many mom fluencers are Mormon moms yeah. in oh, Hawaii. Yeah. It's a oh, thing. Oh, what? Oh, yeah, Mormons? Oh, they live Hawaii? there? Oh, my yeah, God. Mor- yeah. The biggest mom influencers on the planet are Mormon moms in Hawaii. It's insane. Wow. And they're like, like a big thing. They got their Stanley cups and yep. they're mixing like cream soda and like soda. You got to get some star power. They weren't allowed to drink soda. That's, that's all, their, that's they're, they're doing. all doing it. Well, cream oh, soda bringing. like has no caffeine. Yeah, we got to get oh. some. St- we got to get some star power in this as well. Like I'm thinking like maybe maybe there's an episode where like Adam Sandler is filming like Grown Ups Eight in Hawaii. Is that the grown grown ups? Yeah, did he do grown ups? Yeah, yeah. there's grown ups yeah. too. He did that yeah. Drew well, Barrymore movie, yeah. Fifty First Dates. Yeah, and then Adam Sandler starts playing right. basketball, and then one of the guys on the team is like, doesn't even know it, but he's the sickest basketball player ever, and he then gets drafted. Oh, that's a good idea. Yeah. Also, The Rock. Oh, the- is one of the. Yeah, fathers. The Rock's got to be loosely attached. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. yeah. yeah <laughs> the Rock's one of the fathers, and he really butts heads with the coach from California. He's like, you don't get island life. Yeah. 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 He gives him the people's elbow. Or maybe he literally butts heads with him. Ooh. Yeah. Head, head butts him. Yeah. 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 Over island life. Yeah. All right, Billy. Wow. I'm ready. Thank you for having me. Yeah. Thanks for joining us. Oh, we didn't even, well, another time, but we didn't even talk about volcanoes. Is a whole other thing. Yeah, there's got to be a lot volcanoes of volcanoes. Yeah, see, there. Billy knows. There's a wow, lot. Wow. This is a, <laughs> a lot of play. An eruption. One episode. An yeah, eruption. An eruption. Episode. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Damn. Uh, all right. High noon. High noon tequila seltzer. Uh, sorry. High noon tequila lovers who have never satisfied with the malt hard seltzer offerings. You're going to love new high noon tequila seltzer, premium hard seltzer, clean finish because it's made with real Blanco tequila, real juice, only 100 calories, gluten free, no added sugar. High noon tequila seltzer is available nationwide in four bright, crisp flavors strawberry, lime, grapefruit, and passion fruit. High noon tequila seltzer is awesome outdoors, especially at the pool, lake, beach, golf, and tailgating. Look for them on Drizzly at your local convenience or liquor store. Visit HighNoonSpirits.com to find it near you. High Noon is the drink of the summer. They got the vodka. They got the, the tequila. My favorite tequila is the strawberry and the lime. High Noon Tequila Seltzer. Go get it right now. HighNoonSpirits.com to find it near you. What a mind. He it's sold amazing. me on it. went really well for him. Yeah. He it's a dangerous me. mind, but it's a beautiful mind. <laughs> I'm excited. I, I think really what we need to do is that we need to send him out to Hawaii for like a couple months to really Scout like it get out. an idea. That's what he's hoping yeah. for this. Yeah. Get an idea of the right. landscape. Get an idea of the culture. Yeah. We all assume things about the Hawaiian culture like volcanoes and beaches, but none of us really like Bounty know. hunters. Yeah, mm-hmm. Bounty hunters. Mormons. <laughs> I mean, I didn't know. I didn't know a lot of that. I didn't know bounty hunter, right. bounty hunter fathers who have to kill one of the high school students. I think it is one, every uh, one in thir- <laughs> three people, adult males in Hawaii, is a bounty hunter. It's it's yeah. that's a classic like the that's a classic scenario where a high school student has a bounty out on him. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, in Hawaii, not the student, the the, the dad the of dad. the backup quarterback. Oh, okay. So there's a lot of play. The backup. I think it actually should be reversed though. Yeah. The starter's dad is on on the run. The backup's dad is the bounty hunter. Yes, yes. Then you get a lot of like tension there. And maybe the bounty hunter, like he's hesitant to kill the quarterback's dad because he's like he's playing so good this season. A major death in the family could really throw off the rest of the season. Yeah, or maybe he, he's uh, doesn't want to kill the dad because the starting quarterback hasn't learned how to throw a football yet. He's like, yes. if I kill the dad, the dad will never teach him how to throw a f- football. Yes. Even though he's the starter. Mm. It's a good idea. <laughs> they run the triple option. Yeah. And his dad's not around to sh- show him how to throw. Yeah, maybe he's the main character. Really? No. The, oh, the, the dad. Dad. The, the bounty hunting runner. dad. I, I like the idea of Billy making a show where, like, you don't ever really know who the main character is. Yeah, mm-hmm. true. <laughs> it just kind of bounces around. <laughs> <laughs> it's like you just got to kind of figure it out. I feel like if anyone could do that seamlessly... Without effort, it, Billy would just nail it. Yeah, you just have him write this, like have him write each episode, uh, all in one day. He'll get lost. <laughs> like, wait, what did I do? Never mind. Ready for it. 
Steven, do you want to be in this movie? No, it's a show. Sure. In Hawaii? Yeah. Uh, Pearl Harbor? We're not filming in Hawaii. What kind of Pearl Harbor tie-in? Yeah. Most of it will be filmed in the office. (laughs) (laughs) During during that conversation, I got curious. Hawaii. Where do you think Hawaii property taxes are at? Do you think they're low, high? Hawaii high. It's going to be high. I think Hawaii is one of the most expensive places to live in the world. Extremely low. What? (laughs) Yeah. You looked it up? Yeah, I went on Zillow. Yeah, you asked it like it was a question. I wonder if there's some kind of... um, like uh, exception for people that are generationally there. Natives, maybe. I went on Zillow. Those that have uh, vacation homes, you know? Right. I could and see you know there what? being some kind of... Uh, I went on Zillow and just looked at like houses for sale. I it's think, very low. I think even just getting to Hawaii costs... Thou- I think it's like one of the most expensive flights, too. No. Yeah. If you book enough in it, I mean, it's expensive, but... Ready, I'll try right now. Let's no, see. it is expensive. I've been. It's awesome. I heard people are mad. Mark really Zuckerberg cool. bought like a massive compound there in Hawaii. Where am I flying it into? Off Honolulu? Let's if anyone should, Honolulu. it should be him. Go to Maui. All right. Maui. Hawaii. Maui, $1.2 million home. I don't think they have any airports in Three Maui. grand. Really? All right, when should, I, when should I book my flight for? Let's go, let's go like February 2024. Thursday the first weekend trip. You got. I'm looking. So they have like no service. It sucks so bad coming back. From oh wow, home. not even that bad. Six hundred bucks. Oh, all right. You've I been was wrong. Yeah. Huh. Unbelievable. I'd actually, booked it's that probably flight. the one of the only places I've been where like <laughs> it was hyped and then it was like somehow underrated because it was so incredible. Do comedians yeah. make that, or is like that's too much of a trip? No, oh, people go. Major. Yeah, Luau's. Oh, Segura has a whole bit about performing in Hawaii. Look at that. Yeah, the coming back, though, sucks because you have to fly to San Francisco in a red eye. So then you land in San Francisco at, like, 8 in the morning. Uh, And then you have to take another flight. I don't think you have to. There are direct flights back. From Hawaii to New York? No way. To New York? I took a direct flight back from Hawaii. Really? Yeah. How long of a flight is that? Ten hours? Uh... I think it'd be I, really gotta be. I think it was maybe like seven one nine. way, nine the other, something like that. Mm. Maybe nine on the way back, oh, seven the way there. Terrible. There's no way it's seven. It's like six to get to San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, There's no way it's maybe, an maybe hour. Nine. One way is significantly faster. Whatever the jet stream thing. Go, going there probably the way. Faster. Going there's faster. Yeah, the way there. That's right. Oh, but then you have to transfer, like, because you can't, like, yeah. Depends what part mm. of why you're going to. I want to go to Hawaii. Yeah, it's delightful. really cool. Like it's, it's amazing that it's a state. It's hard to believe. It's yeah. so exotic. Are you talking mostly different. about the scenery or the activities or. What? Um. Well, the weather is better than anywhere I've ever been. I mean, it's better than Jamaica or the Caribbean islands. It's just the same temperature every single day without a cloud in the sky. Yeah, that's crazy. And the water is so too. awesome to swim in. The food is like every fish dish is like come off of that day yep. of a spear fish. Go to Maui. We went to the Big Island. When did you go? I was, I was that was two thousand nine, eight, two thousand eight. Damn. Yeah, I went with some friends. My buddy, his. I heard it's kind of a shithole now. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's fine. Well, you leave at 445 in Honolulu, you land at JFK at 725 a.m. Nine hours and 40 minutes. That's not as long as I would expect it to be yeah. at all. That's a haul, though. Yeah. That's like flying to Dubai or something. Maybe not quite, but... How long is it to, like, France? Eight hours? From New York? Yeah. Mm, it's seven. like six and a half, seven. Really? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, Hawaii. Uh, I would highly recommend Hawaii. I want to. I was. Hawaii. I was wrong. It's got to be faster coming back. Yeah, because the jet stream. Yeah. 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 Great tubing. You went to Hawaii? No, oh. but I would imagine. <laughs> <laughs> to think about it. <laughs> we went and we, they had set us up for some spear fishing, and they hit, give you a chart, a laminated chart. I think I've told this story before. Where they give you a chart of the fish that you can shoot your spear at, 
and those that y- they don't want you to, whether they're endangered or just not fish to hunt. And my friends and I were just, you know, you got goggles on, a mask, it's fogged up, there's water leaking in, you can't really, you're looking at this chart on your hand and then trying to see, well, is that that fish? Jesus. And I saw this one fish that looked really weird because everything else was impossible to hit. I couldn't, they just, they knew the game and they would scatter. And finally I saw one that w- was clearly, you could hit it and it looked kind of stupid and uh i was like well i don't think that's one i should shoot for and sure enough 20 minutes later i go in and then my buddy shoots the sa- that very fish and brings it in on the sp- spear and one of the women who had outfitted us with the flippers and stuff she was a uh, uh, you know from hawaii came out and saw it and she started weeping <gasps> oh uh because he had sp- he had it was a puffer fish Oh no! Those are like sacred or something. Oh she no! Cried. She didn't cry. She cried. I'm not lying. Is your is y- she started crying? Your you ever had first? to put an animal out of its misery? But it wasn't unhappy. It's <laughs> living its life. You They're don't just, know that. You don't. Could have been unhappy. Could have been a. Could have been a depressed. That's true. Fish. Yeah. yeah. Maybe it was really bummed. Yeah. Maybe it was having like the worst. It was like, I hope I get fucking speared to death. Yeah. yeah. I feel really bloated. That's why yeah. I was out in the open. Someone put me out of my misery. <laughs> Salt water's making me feel so bloated. Yeah. <laughs> get me the fuck out of here. I gotta get in the water. I'm going. I'm going uh, on a fishing trip again. When? September. Where? Colorado. Hell yes. Nice. Yeah, I gotta me I'm going with my same friends. We're like we gotta we gotta You've been talking like a bass master for months now. <laughs> When's the last time you <laughs> caught a fish? <laughs> Two years ago. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're going we gotta we gotta redeem ourselves from Iceland. Iceland we uh, we you finally accepted anything, it. Right? We accepted it and we were like, Was that the biggest mistake we've ever made? Going to Iceland in like the pretty much the winter. Yeah, I mean, dude, I just remember. I remember looking into the water and just I was like, "There's not even a single living creature in this, <laughs> in this water right now, like not even like a tadpole, a minnow, like anything, <laughs> anything." Yeah, you guys got to go catch some like like seaweed. Like it was just it was just like a pool. <laughs> they might have shocked the river with chlorine. <laughs> you got to catch yourself some fish. So we're gonna go. Yeah, we're gonna go to uh, pretty deep in Colorado. Up by Telluride, actually. Ooh. Wow. Yeah. What? What is that? The Colorado River? Uh, I forget what it was. My buddy texted. You're going fly fishing? Yeah, we're gonna go fly fishing. He said we should go to, cause he lives in Colorado. Mm. Oh, he said uh, Buena Vista, Arkansas River. It's not what I would have guessed. And then, oh, and no, no, that was the second option, cause the first one was kind of far. The first one was Black Canyon of the Guinnison River. I thought it might be the Black Canyon. But that one's pretty far. That one's pretty far from Denver. It's like a five hour drive. Yeah, that's where the good fish are. Yeah. Do you fly fish? You fly no. fish? You're not like a fisher person. No. Fly fishing seems so cool. It is awesome. It looks cool, but it's hard. I find I yeah. Fucking hard. Because if yeah. you go like, if you get it wrong, they know. Yeah. Oh. The cast. Yeah. The coolest part about fly fishing is the pants. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is. It's scary too. Doesn't like kind of like scenery suck. too is probably pretty cool. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the pants are the coolest part. True. For sure. When you go up to like your waist. Waiters, yeah. Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, and it feels good. It feels cool. Like it, it's all like it's grabbing your legs, rushing yeah. around. You. Yeah. Yeah. By the way, happy birthday to Tommy Walker. Oh yeah. Yeah. Is it? I asked, I asked Brandon if he could zoom in, and he said that Tommy told him he wanted the only thing he wanted for his birthday is to be left alone and be able to sleep all day. Wow. All right. Tommy's, I mean, that's a man after my heart. I love that. Yeah. I wonder if his girl's going to go out and surprise him. <laughs> yeah. I wonder if his pa's going to take him on that little shitty boat. <laughs> <laughs> Tommy is older than, like, King Tut. What? How old was King Tut? He assumed reign at like 11. How old is yeah. Tommy? Like f- 12, 13. <laughs> I feel like he'd make a good king. You want to text Brandon and see if Tommy's up? Isn't Tommy like 9? I think he's 12. No, I think he's 12 or 13. 13 seems pretty 
12. Because I remember, his, I think it was two years ago, we did the big event. That was 10th, right? That was 10. Oh, you want to do the Morgan and Morgan read? Yeah. All right. The back half too. Oh, you got it. I gotcha. Morgan and Morgan. Uh, the Yak is presented by Morgan and Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident, Morgan and Morgan makes it easy for you. File a claim online, upload pictures, also known as evidence. Text your lawyer, get a settlement direct deposited. Do almost everything from your phone. Morgan and Morgan is America's largest injury law firm. They have over 800 lawyers nationwide, over $15 billion recovered so far. Over 100 offices, over 30 years of experience. Uh, the fee is free. You only pay if you win. The price for pain is infinite. And that's why Morgan & Morgan will fight for full and fair compensation for their clients. Up to date, they have recovered over $15 billion for them. They try more cases than any other injury law firm in the country. Visit forthepeople.com slash yak. Or dial uh, hashtag law, pound, pound law. law, start a claim. <laughs> Got it. Pound law. Hashtag. I couldn't remember uh, the phone <laughs> nomenclature for uh, the hashtag. I got to go to Alabama tomorrow. Yeah, so everyone's yeah. got to buy tickets. <laughs> yeah. Huntsville? It was in Alabama. Anyone lives in Alabama. You can't expect that to sound <laughs> crazy. Who lives in? <laughs> How big is the room? Uh, like 300, but I'm doing four shows. All right, so let's go, Huntsville. Step up. Huntsville's a big um, rocket ship place, right? Isn't it? Yes. Air and a big military. Oh, really? Stone Arsenal is there. Well, let's go. Let's get the, yeah. let's get yeah. the boys. That's going to be a show where you're going to have people after the show come up with you and say that they drove six hours to see you. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's what that's going to be. Um, yeah, it'll be fine. Whatever. You're going to crush. I'm not worried about it. It should be fun. Dude, we're just, excited, we're just excited to get up on stage, slay the slay the stage once again. So you're gonna be there all weekend. Yeah. Nice. And then I gotta go to Atlanta next weekend, and then all get and then Philly, and then all the. You know. You're a fucking traveling comedian. Yeah. Chicago shows are almost sold out already. Let's go. When yeah. is that? October. Oh, nice. That's gonna yeah. come for the whole week. Yeah, that'll be fun. I can write you down for that. Yeah. A yeah. week, baby. Yeah, I'll be there the whole week. Oh, nice. Fucking go. You bring that little uh, your sidekick with you, Roan. Yeah, <laughs> it'd be funny if we just if Roan comes back and we're like, "Oh, Sash, your sidekick." Sash, sidekick. Sidekick. <laughs> we, just, yeah. we just start treating him like shit. Yeah. <laughs> I was thinking when we were talking about Hawaii, I was just like, "Oh, didn't Roan? Roan just went to Hawaii." Roan goes everywhere. And then I was like, "That applies to most places." Yes, yes. yes. He's yep. been everywhere. He goes everywhere yeah. except Iran. Except Iran. Yeah. yeah. It's the only place he hasn't gone. He should just stop by Iran on the way back from yeah. South Africa. It's so easy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He, like, accidentally tagged a restaurant with a location somewhere deep, deep, deep in Brazil a few months yeah, ago. Yeah, I know. And I looked at it, and I was like, oh, wow, Ron's yeah, in, would, yeah, in Brazil. the jungles of Brazil. Uh, yeah, but I, yeah. we've actually, that's been a whole thing on Son of a Boy Dad. We still don't know if he actually went to Brazil or not. Yeah. Because he said he was in Miami, right? And he says, he goes, he, he, then he claimed he went to Brazil, and he just won't tell us. He goes back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he did, and he made a post in Bra and he, that he was tagged in Brazil. <gasps> oh, oh. oh. It's like they both Here, just I gotta turn this down. Yeah, yeah, it does. And it looks What's like shit. Yeah, he looks really bad. <laughs> Man, and you look like crap. Jeez. You gotta get outside. <laughs> the eye bags. Do you see the volume? <laughs> hey! Hi, <laughs> birthday boy. Let's go, Tommy. Tommy! Big one, two. You ain't showing anything. <laughs> <laughs> Doing. What you doing? Like bright in there? Yeah, okay. what's that? Don't worry about that. Hey guys. Can you hear us? I can't. What's wrong with the I'm like restart your computer? I'm not gonna restart the computer. <laughs> this is crazy. <laughs> it's home studio rules. It's just yeah. too Hello? It's, it's also just Brandon, Brandon. and Hi. little Brandon yelling at each other about a computer. You just want to say hello? It's Tommy. Tommy, happy, happy birthday. birthday. Happy birthday. Tommy's birthday. Woohoo. Tommy, Tommy, happy birthday. Yes. Tommy, you're the king. Happy Hi. birthday. Okay, hold on. We'll How long can out. you hold your breath? Come back to us in a minute. Underwater. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh, this would be awesome if he started freaking It was working out yesterday. <laughs> that hairdo night, that he's wearing <laughs> right now is someone who was asleep 30 seconds ago. Yes. Oh it's God. a rush. Look on the what right side. It's Splash there. water in my hair and comb it to make <laughs> it look like this is how I'd always wear my hair. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> he's like a he he never looks, had his hair like that. He he looks like a shitty public <laughs> defender who like who like sprayed some binaca in his mouth right before he went for like the trial of the century. He's like, all right, that shirt's not helpful. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, he had some double D's in that. Yeah, 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 that's did. not the longest I've seen his beard uh, in a Santa while. Santa Claus. Too. And it's, Brandon's a drunk little league coach. Just That's got what his, he looks got like. Got his hair together right before he got out. To looks like Thomas. he's been hitting the bottle hard. Yeah. Yeah. He does look like an alcoholic. <laughs> 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 Y'all hear me? Yeah. yeah. Tommy, happy Tommy. birthday. Happy birthday, Yay. Tommy. Hey. What's going on? You guys you both just wake up? Whoop. Tommy did. Heck yeah. Tommy, happy birthday. How old are you, Tommy? About 13. Let's go! Oh. Wow. Would not be allowed in Stephen Chase uh, yeah. village, <laughs> town. You're a teen. Tommy, would you rather have a stack of pancakes or a stack of um, magazines? Pancakes. Would you rather sleep for 12 hours or go spear fishing for 12 hours? Spear fishing. Mm -hmm. Tommy, leopard versus panther. Mm -hmm. That depends on what iteration the panther is. If it's a black panther, it has the camouflage. If it's a normal panther, then it has the strength. Okay, so let's say normal panther. Panther. Okay. Yeah, good choice. Seems like you're, seems like you're saying panther both ways. Yeah. Okay, well, I got so one. I got one for Tommy. Hi, Francis. You remember yeah. Francis. Tommy, Hi, Francis. hey, a question for you. Um, let's say that you're on a ship, and the ship capsizes at sea. And you and two of your crewmates uh, survive in a lifeboat, right? And a week goes by, you've eaten all of your emergency rations. Mm -hmm. And one of the uh, members of your lifeboat starts to drink seawater. Mm -hmm. Are they gone? Oh, no, you're yeah. still there. And so because he's losing his mind, right? And he starts to drink seawater, so he's going to get sick. He's probably going to die anyway. Mm -hmm. And you and your other uh, boat member decide to that the only way for you to survive would be to eat that other guy could I you would. do it no i just jump in the water catch a fish with my bare hands and eat it raw yep all right good answer smart man. Long move smart man good answer. i mean question <laughs> same scenario same scenario but you're in hawaii and the only fish you can find are puffer fish and you know it could save your life but if you get back to shore and you tell everyone you lived off of puffer fish they might kill you. What do you do? If it's live or die, I'm eating the puffer fish. All right. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Strong. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tommy, you're going to Cubs tomorrow night, right? Wait. Tomorrow? Yeah. Uh, he hadn't actually been told that. <laughs> Fuck. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, wait. Is Nick prepared? Well, Uncle Big Cat bought the tickets, so that's why I said that. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, then. That's not as bad. <laughs> yeah. Brandon was going to surprise him with your <laughs> game. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. credit for it. Just let you know, Uncle Big Cat was the one who dropped 1700 bucks on those tickets. So, uh, is Nick there? Nick is not here. Uh, Nick's not why? Here. How are um, his gifts to you? Good. Can you tell him that a fan at the last uh, baseball game I went to said, Said that he's a really big fan of Nick. Oh, yeah. nice. love that. We'll pass that along. Yeah, we'll let him know. So that actually happened at the Brewers game we went to. A fan recognized Tommy before he recognized me. Uh, <laughs> that's cool. well, understandable. You've kind of let yourself go since your New York days. Right. They're oh, probably God. like, who the hell is that? Who the hell Explain yourself. Oh, I haven't. Who I, the hell is that fat alcoholic go? with Tommy? No, I just. I'm ashamed, that's all. You mean this. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right Brandon, yeah, we got to get play. you a clean shave going. I'll, I'll shave tonight. Fine. I didn't realize it was that bad. No, it's uh, not. Big Cat, did you did you really pay for the tickets? Yeah. Well, you didn't have to do that. I didn't want to ask my connection because it's a Friday night game at Wrigley, and those are always more expensive and harder. So it's for Tommy. 
I told you we could do Monday night. If yeah, it was but you want to do Friday night, and I want you to have fun. Okay, thank you. Tell yeah. him thanks. Thank you. Sorry for ruining the surprise. Fuck. That's all right. That's all right. That's... It's all gonna right. be awesome, Tommy. They don't do a lot of Friday night games at Wrigley. Really? Yeah. Really, like, <laughs> I, like maybe two a year. So, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be popping. It's gonna okay, be popping. So, um, we're going. Maybe to a water park, maybe to the pool, maybe to go shopping. We don't know. We're, we're just going to go do his birthday. Love it. Cool. All right. Well, happy birthday, happy Tommy. Birthday. We love you. Happy birthday, to right, man. Tommy. Brandon, Fun. get yourself under control. Yeah. All right, Sask. All right. I'll show you. Did you ever see the time lapse of Tim Allen putting on the fat suit in the Santa Claus? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes. yeah. I know what he looks like right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 it is. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that's so great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. I wonder if they're going to do any fishing out there today. Uh, Kill the wet a line right now. <laughs> Kill the wet a line. Oh, <laughs> I've been fucking just been hankering to wet a line. <laughs> Tight. Oh, Tommy rules. I hope he has a great birthday. Yeah, and he, he, it's kind of sad. He's maturing. And he doesn't really fuck with us as much as he used to. Yeah. Oh, that's okay. He'll come back around. I think he's also going to be himself his whole life. Yeah. Yeah. I think he's a very yeah. uh, in d- unique and wonderful young man. I just can't wait till we can hire him. Yeah. Five years now? Yeah. Five years we can hire him. That'll be huge. What if, he, what if we hire him, but we hire him for the New York office? <laughs> <laughs> a rival, a walker's divided? Yeah. Big Cat, you, you said in um, your speech yesterday that you you don't want there to be a rivalry between New York and Chicago. No, there shouldn't be. Well, there definitely will be. I think there will be, though. Why? You, as soon as you guys leave stool, this office. That's right, but on. the that's like fans will do it, but like I was saying more for, like, I don't want anyone to think that they can't come to Chicago for like a week to do content or any of the Chicago I never guys. understood this. Go to what New York to do I think, I don't yeah, think. There is none. Right. I would like you guys to check. Even in now, like, well, I don't get people's York. competitive outlook on the like, insider rival. Like, what are we competing? I just want the company. Uh, uh, what, to what's going to happen is insurance. there will be some sponsored event, a dodgeball tournament that we're going to have the Chicago versus the New York. Office. Oh, I don't think so. And that's going to breed some kind of competitive backstory so true. And no what's gonna happen is the the commenters are gonna be like this office sucks this office is great you just gotta tune it out and be like we're all on the fucking same team and what i was really trying to say to the people that in the company is that like you shouldn't feel like you can't go back and forth between offices yeah, i i think that will hopefully always be, remain true is that Sass and his sidekick are coming in October. You I don't come do our dollar I don't deep dish show anytime. <laughs> always welcome. I don't think this this <laughs> theoretical rivalry will be a closed door. I hope it doesn't become some kind of actual. Well, that was my point. Like you're not welcome type deal, but I do think that there will be mudslinging. And I don't think barbed, that. barbed shots. Sounds like you want to do that. Uh, you know me. I hate that shit. But what Fucking you're like wishing it? No, I'm just realistic. Look, I, yeah, think, I don't. I, I think New I York will. undeniably has a stacked crew, and I think. Yeah. Uh, but we don't do group based things. It's gonna be a lot of bonding over here. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I don't know what you guys are planning over in Chicago, but sleepovers. A lot of fishing, probably here. Fishing, yeah. a lot fishing. of fishing. Yeah. yeah. The line. <laughs> what? Yeah. Light lines. A lot of line wetting. Mm. Our line's gonna be wet the whole time. No, no. Yeah, it is. I think what will happen is we'll see how much fun you guys are having and how much revenue you're generating, and we'll get insecure and start um, Dude, keep start this to five yourself, sacrifices. Dude. <laughs> yeah, what the yeah, fuck, what man? Super, getting super, like, neurotic <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and, like, insecure about it. Second guessing everything. And then hating ourselves <laughs> and then feeling that the only way for us to, like, stay level or even keep pace or remain relevant is to take to tear you guys down <laughs> and, and then probably creating a slew of Calling anonymous threats to the Chicago earner office. accounts yeah. to oh, say yeah. that it, the Chicago office isn't actually as happy as people say it is. We uh, hear that. Or you make us feel terrible by doing like a Jonestown type thing here. Ooh. I don't know what that means. Okay. What is that? 
Nothing. I think you know. No, I actually the Jonestown massacre. Jonestown. Oh, Jonestown? oh yeah, what's I Jones? Give me for not knowing. I don't. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> what is the, what is the Jonestown massacre? No, no, Jonestown. <laughs> that was dark, weird thing to say. Anyway. Yeah. I don't know this Massive one. Massive cult. Maybe you guys all kill yourselves. They drank the Kool Aid. <laughs> weird. Oh, oh, weird. are they the Nikes yeah. one? Uh -huh. No. What? Who's the Nikes one? That was Heaven's Gate. Oh, they thought yes. the comet. They were gonna go to the. Yes. Space they're all wearing the sick. I think Air Monarchs. Yeah. Maybe? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. It's a good way to go out. Comfortable way to go out. I know. <laughs> Air yes. Monarchs Stylish too. Yeah. Uh, you don't want to be going out in like construction boots. I wonder if anyone got the shoes and they were like, guys, I. Would, I wouldn't hate a week in these. Yeah, like, life is pretty good right now. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Oh, another pup in the office. My mile's gone down by, like, hey. 30 seconds. Yeah. My arches don't <laughs> bother me anymore. <laughs> but what I think will happen, too, is that, you know, we'll try that, and it won't work, and then I'll just um, quietly arrange to move to Chicago. Okay. <laughs> Switch yeah. teams. Yep. We're all on the same team. And then hairball get fucking pissed and then realize that was the right idea all along and he'll come too. No. Hairball? No. And then Roan will come. Roan will never go. If Roan went, I would be like, yeah, maybe I'll go. So we gotta get Roan. Gotta lean on Roan. He won't go. And also I have too much too much goddamn business to take care of here still. It's true. You gotta let you I mean you're the king of New York. Yeah. He's the culprit. What are you gonna do? <laughs> Who put this dog shit here? It's such a great Why are there so many dogs here today? I'm surprised that dog know. is still running wild. We all get a pup. There's well, already that's shit. not What's the dog that shit. <laughs> Like in a weird way, it's kind of nice that he shits. Like he's not gonna shit again. That's right? the man who put that that nice. him in here. That's the dog. That is that an Australian shepherd? Yeah. Steve. Let him in here. Those dogs love to I run love that around. Dog. They like they like free reign. So friendly. Mm. Want to run for hours. Penny or Benny? They kind of messed up the name for me. I don't know who it is. Penny. Look, if my projection's way off, I'll I'll back off the point. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it was. No, what we should do is just let it play out instead of getting anxious. That goes for all the listeners too. Like, oh, I think it's going to be a, a wild adjustment for me. Yeah, you want to come in every day. Because yeah. my full-time job will now be reduced to <laughs> a podcast a week. <laughs> An hour. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get so bored. You're going to be so good at video games. So bored. <laughs> That's my main concern. You got the sketches coming out that have been great, though. Yeah, I'm not worried about my job security yeah. because I get paid pretty much minimum wage. <laughs> 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 the podcast and the sketch show cover my salary by um, a lot, so I'm fine <laughs> job-wise. But I'm more worried that I'm going to go insane because I'm just going to be sitting in my apartment. You can yeah, travel you got to get out. Go do stuff. Start golfing. Yeah. Try and break 90. There's nothing to do in New York. Well, you can start doing shows on Thursday nights other places, too. Yeah. Well, you go Thursday to Sunday. I do that pretty much now. Oh, you do? Just like not this weekend because yeah. it's Huntsville. Didn't need to stay the extra night in Huntsville. You just get super efficient. Yeah. The one day work week by SAS. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. The sketch, I mean, the sketch show we film a lot. We yeah. just banked a lot of episodes to be filmed for a whole day. Is it coming out break. next week? Yeah, I think next Wednesday, probably. <sighs> Donnie had his latest Everest episode actually up at the base camp, so check that out yeah, if you haven't yes. yet. So check it's that really out. Good. Hey, maybe I'll start doing some shit like that. Everest. That'd be cool. Start a fishing series. <laughs> what? You yeah, can, wet can the you line. That's can you gotta fish? Wait, hell no. I'm not. I'm a catch and release. The fly fishing community is very catch and release. Did you just steal Brandon's logo from Walk the Line. Just call it Wet the Line. Yeah. Wait, they are. It's a fishing and gambling show. They just. They just do it? No, I'm talking out of my ass. I, oh, I was like, I've literally been what? fly fishing twice. Oh, okay. Yeah. I have you a lot. should just travel a lot. Travel and write. Yeah. Like, write comedy. I already do that. You like to travel. Kind of. Oh. I don't know. I like to travel, like, to the woods, not to, like, uh, cities. That's what I'm saying. Go get, get a bunch of cabins every week. Yeah. yeah. Start working on my manifesto. Yeah. yeah. So we're sending some packages to people. Yeah. Sass's Woods Reviews. I was late to the game on yeah. him. Hey, Kaczynski, uh, yeah, he just died, right? Was, uh, yeah. What a man. Yeah. He's a very, he's a genius. Yeah, freak yeah. genius. Did he go to Harvard? Yep. Yes. They, they, Harvard and Michigan. Where, that's yeah. where they fucked him up. Oh, Michigan. They did the experiments, experiments on, on him. 
Oh, they did? Yeah. Yep. What was it, like LSD? They, it was like an experiment where they were mean to him and like, were like super mean to him and right. talked down on him and blah, blah, blah. Rated him nonstop. Yeah. And. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought they were like giving him drugs. I thought they were making him do like acid. Maybe. I, I don't know that part by now. Uh, Not very successful. Gets a lot of credit for failing a lot. The bombs? Most of his bombs did not work well. Oh, really? Yeah. Most of them was like someone would like get grazed on their face. Crazy finger. that they, some like, of them worked. What the work. fuck was that? He's also going after like weird ass like groups of people. Is he going after government? I don't even, I think he was sending them to like professors at schools. Huh. Was people like developing technology because he thought yeah. technology was going to ruin. Oh, he's probably, world, probably wasn't a big fan of AI the last couple of years. Oh. Yeah. It was his own brother that caught him. Really? Yep. I don't know anything about him. Fuck. Yeah. I just know that the Unabomber was a sick name. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it is a sick name. He was like always pen pals with his brother, even when he like lived in the boondoggles of the woods or whatever. Yes. And his brother read the manifesto that the newspapers published and was like, uh oh, I recognize that. Oh, no. That style of writing. Oh, I thought all of his yeah. manifestos were in like code. Didn't he? He created a whole language. He sent two. Like the New York Times and the Washington Post are two. I'm yeah. getting the newspapers wrong, well, but he's he like, if you guys, he's like, if yeah. you don't publish these, I'm going to do more bombs. And they decided to publish. They're always bombs. after the clout. Yeah, it was. I always want a little clout. Can't just live in the woods and bomb people. He was kind of a little bitch too. Like his, he, him and his mom would get in fights. Yeah. Be like, why don't you have a girlfriend? He'd be like, because I don't want one, mom. Because <laughs> I'm, busy I'm busy bombing. building bombs. <laughs> <laughs> My last bomb didn't go off. Yeah. He would like go to his neighbor's house because they had a bunch of like rundown cars, right? And he would just like steal parts from their cars, oh. and use them. Gotta read up about tech. Car pervert. It's, it's what a liberal education like Harvard will do to a man. I know. Mm-hmm. Williams and Harvard. Did he play sports at Harvard? Lacrosse. He was the best player in Maine, they said. <laughs> Nobody said that. <laughs> Dude, you know who's the craziest? Well, you remember that guy in Maine that they found who had been living there for 20 years? Super flag. That w- nope. That's the basketball player? That's the basketball player. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know. You don't know that story? No. It happened uh, like what, like yeah, two what years happened? ago? What happened? Kind of he, was, he basically, he was living in seclusion in the woods. He had built like in between a couple rocks, like a whole little like, area and he would go around in the summer or maybe the winter time and steal from all the houses yes yeah. i remember we talked about it on here yeah and he you just kind complete- of like accepted it right they're like yeah. oh the the woods guy was here. yeah yeah and he'd been he'd just been living in seclusion by himself for 20 years surviving like okay. winters in maine wow like just at, uh, in like the woods yeah like no cabin or anything yeah yeah that sounds pretty Damn. good is that illegal Y- yeah. Well, he was stealing a lot. The road. I, what, uh, <laughs> he was. He like literally. People were like, "Yeah, he just would come." He actually would only steal like food and supplies. He wouldn't yeah. steal like, electronics or anything. Yeah. Yeah. Wasn't the whole point of Walden Pond? Wal- Walden was at Emerson or Thoreau that the he wanted to go live off the grid, but the government came after him for not paying taxes. Oh, I didn't know that either. I think some of that is like, yeah, I think there's like, and also some of the places that they sleep, they're like, I guess they're not allowed to sleep. It's a oh. bunch of weird shit like that. Mm. Well, was like, can you look it up, TJ, what the guy's name was? I and if you have kids, it's a whole other issue. Yeah. Can't live off the grid if you have kids. We used to read it, it, well, in school when we were kids in Maine. We had to read a book called Lost on a Mountain in Maine. That was a book that like every kid read. And uh, it was about a young kid who was on a hiking trip with his family got lost and had to survive a like a l- the whole winter by himself outside in the mountains and uh the way that he did it and then he eventually when it like the the snow melted he walked back and found a town huh. and we got we had to read that as kids i was in Still? third grade yeah. Hatchet. I, That's I was hatchet. thinking of Hatchet. Yeah. We read when we were kids, yeah. like the plane God. crashes and he's got a, the Gary pilot Paulson? dies. Yeah. Paulson, yeah. What a fucking guy. That guy knew yeah. how to write a book that was a good easy book. to read. Did you, did you read, um, no, not that, that guy. I was talking about the other, the main guy. What? Did you read a lot of the young adults, like baseball books, sports books? Not really. Pitcher with Maniac a glass McGee, arm. Um, Casey at the bat. 
bull catcher painting the black no. these no did anyone read these books my brother no. there was a whole series that my brother read they were incredible yeah. i read all the gary paulson ones then i read all the like i paulson's, survived yeah what was, what was gary paulson's other one i don't know he had a bunch remember reading the giver the giver yes. oh, yeah. oh my oh god, god this is the deepest book ever mm-hmm. giver was, well, good. was made for like 10 year olds i liked all of the like huckleberry finn oh i'm sure you like some of the language in that Oh, yeah. Like when my English teacher would s- be like, we have to say it. <laughs> we Matt, have to. Matt Christopher sports books. Power, yeah, that's power right. Power pitcher, catcher with a glass arm, the kid who only hit homers. Kid who only hit homers. Didn't he write Miracle Maniac Plate. McGee as well, Matt Christopher? Hockey machine, long shot for Paul, wingman on ice. Jerry Spinelli wrote. Oh, Jerry Spinelli. He wrote, he, I, I always read his like puberty books, which was super weird. Whose puberty books? You know, his books about... Going through puberty. Oh. 27 years without human interaction. Holy shit. What year was this? Sounds great. Oh, I guess he was caught in 2013, so maybe not. Did that. it say why? Like, did he ever say, like, yeah, I just kind of, it just kind of happened one day. Like, or was he like, oh, no, I had saying, a bad breakup. It's saying right there, he's saying, saying goodbye to no one. His parents never reported missing police. In an interview, Knight said, I had good parents. We're not emotionally bleeding all over each other. We're not touchy-feely. Stoicism is expected. Wait, his parents never reported him missing? They're like, I guess he's gone. Probably just knew he was there. Yeah. That's actually, it's pretty surprising that he lived for that. He in survived the winter? that long. Yeah, yeah holy shit. Well, in in uh, Into the Wild, doesn't that, that guy, that guy was out there for like six months and died. Yeah. Hmm. It was a game warden. He was seven months in jail. So wait, he's living. Where is he living now? Could be anywhere. Could be right in this. And now leads a quiet life in rural Maine. I feel That's like you gotta re-release him. And if you're already in Maine, why wouldn't you just live in a cabin? Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah I, I get like the whole like isolation, minimalist lifestyle, but I, I wouldn't want to live outside in Maine. Yeah. It's fucking freezing. 27 years without human contact is fucking yeah. nuts. I have this uh, idyllic, probably false ideal that uh, uh, I could leave everything behind and move to Maine and be happy on a tenth of my income and, and just simplify my life. Yeah. I think everyone has that feeling. Yeah. 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 I've had that feeling many times. Because I've learned that in New York, you know, I keep thinking that as my life gets more expensive, I just have to make more money to catch up to it. But I know that a much easier way to do it would be to make my life less expensive. Right. I when I got when I got denied my raise and I shaved my head, I was gonna do that. I was like, I'm gonna go live in the woods and write poetry. <laughs> and then I was like, I'm dumb, and I can't do that. <laughs> <laughs> I read like one Jack Kerouac book, and I was like, Yeah, this is what I'm gonna do. I'm going to go get drunk every day and write. Then I was like, I haven't done anything interesting that would be worth reading. See, mine is like living in like Montana, but my house has like 25 TVs and like the best cable service. And I just hang out. Oh, that would be awesome. Yeah. Mm, You need to pursue something, though, or you that's when you go crazy. Yeah. You can't just sit around. I think I could sit around. You think golf would be enough of a pursuit? Yes. No. Yes, that's not a real becoming pursuit. a scratch golfer. Like if if I would that be enough? Yeah, it would take for the like duration that it lasted. Probably not, because then you get really good and you'd be like, guys, I'm a scratch golfer. I, then you'd be like, now what? I I might not ever be capable of getting to scratch. I I could see myself committing forty years to it, and it could be not getting. But is it enjoyable then when you're trying that or no? Good question. Well, it like becomes if like you're a not job if that's the only thing you're doing. I mean, like, imagine and if you're ass. consistently improving. I, I yeah. bet you it would yeah. be very enjoyable. Could you fish? Could you perfect your fishing for f- the next 40 years? No, I, I, I'm not, like, actually, uh, I'm kind of joking about the fishing stuff, mostly. <laughs> oh, I thought you liked it. I do love it, but I have I don't go fishing a lot at all. Like I, I like it because probably because I don't do it a lot. I'm sure if oh. I fished every day for a year, I'd probably be like, "This fucking sucks." Mm-hmm. What about pool? Hell no. I think golf. I, could I w- yeah, I golf. would love to play pool. Because golf takes a while, and you're Forever. outside. Just like as a like a recent like soon like a one-off thing. Yeah. Betting horses too. I could do that. 
Mm. Like if I could, if I could live like near a track, and just go to the horse track every day, I could absolutely just sit there and just gamble all day. I think it's got to be something that's not expensive because. Well, well I'd win. Well. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's no. What Charles, that's what Charles Bukowski did. Listen, I've thought many times about retirement and that I need enough money that I can lose it all. That's what Stu's going to do. Yeah, Stu's done that like six times. Stu said he's not leaving any money for his kids, and he's, yeah. <laughs> he's, and he's trying to spend all of his money before he dies. <laughs> I believe it. I get that. Not I get not leaving money for your kids, but I think leaving money for your grandkids is a noble thing. Leaving money for their college education or their, you know. Yeah. I mean, I think I think purposely spending all of your money so that your kids can't have any money is an is insane thing. Yeah, isn't, isn't Bill Gates doing that? <laughs> that would piss me off so much. If you left yeah. them like uh, 10 million each. That would drive me nuts. I don't think it was. Like, Dad, give me 100 mil. Fuck you. Bit, yeah. I, th- I think they'd be happier with 10, though. Do you remember from the um, Aaron Hernandez documentary? There was a phone call that he had with his mother that to this day is seared into my memory where they had recorded it somehow. And she was saying, why can't you just spare a million dollars? Yeah. Why can't you just give me a million dollars? And he goes, Mom, I don't have. You think I just have a million dollars or something? Wait, is he from Boston? I don't remember. Uh, Yeah, no, I think he was from up. He so was he from, like, up there. He had, like, there. a white mom with a Boston accent. Mom that would talk that way, yeah. So. yeah. Yeah, she had an accent. Yeah. That's, like, and a million-dollar baby-type mom. It broke my heart. It was really sad. Yeah. Can't wait to- a million would never suffice. Oh, exactly. For if you have a mouse a, a crumb, they're going to want a cookie. Right. Truth. Mm-hmm. Facts. Steven. Like, all those Learning Channel Lotto shows, they, like, 90% of them are broke by the end of the episode. Yeah. Oh. Big Cat, if you did that and moved to Montana and just gambled on sports, would you be able to ration your no. gamble? Because <laughs> probably you'd have to gamble enough that like you almost wouldn't care about at this stage. Mm-hmm. But like you have to no. project. No. 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 Yeah, I don't know what I would do. I don't I know if like, I'll ever uh, I would New need York. someone to control. I'd, I'd basically... To live my perfect retirement <laughs> life, I need to be like in, in a conservatorship, like Brittany. Or like, Clay where they Thompson. like give me a certain amount yeah. of money every year that I can lose. The allowance. Yeah. yeah, but I can live. But I'm also pissed if I lose it because I'm like, no, I can't get any more until next year. I would do that for you if you ever. I appreciate that. I appreciate that. That would be sick. That would be cool. My grandfather, when he was very old, before he died, like would just get scammed every day writing into shit like you gotta do like the what was the what was the that's thing that's gotta feel so good when you like get somebody yeah, yeah. he would just get scammed all the time like he uh what well, what's the clearinghouse millionaires or something publishers clearing yeah house, he would check. just write that in and just like be like i'm gonna get it i'm gonna get it <laughs> like he just would get i'm so many like scams. pro that yeah yeah, oh, he I'm got fine sc- with <laughs> he got scam left and right trying to make like a a quick buck at the end of his life. Scamming should be legal. Yeah, because it takes you know if you're good enough to do it. Right. And there's and like he didn't care. He was like a year yeah. away from dying. He was just like <laughs> money. He, I think I think he was like it should be like a sport. Yeah, he still had like cognitive ability where he was like, I know this is probably a scam, but I would love if it wasn't. Yeah. Like what a just rush. keep taking shots. I got a scam. It's not really a scam. It's it's a hack. Yesterday, uh, before the comedy show, I had some time to kill, but I was in the neighborhood, and I wanted a drink, but I didn't want to pay for one because things aren't really going that well financially right now. Oh, what happened? Uh, my wife lost her job, and then, I don't know. Anyway. Went to Chicago. It's cheaper. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get fucking Roan and Sass to come. I got too much business to take care of here. <laughs> <laughs> so As he plays Call of Duty for twelve hours. A day. I don't play video games anymore. <laughs> <laughs> that would be funny if you're just like I'm taking care of business, guys. Oh Where's no! In September, September is the start date of taking care of business. We've been on a break from video games, but September is when we get going again. Oh hell yes! Yeah. Got He's got a lot of wars to fight. My buddy literally called me and he was like, "Can you play uh, video games in September?" 
like, I was like, you, like the whole day. month. I was like, what do you mean? Like, can I? Yeah, I can play. I'm sure there's one day in September where I'll be able to play video <laughs> games. <laughs> so wait, what are you saying? Do you play Warzone? Yeah, but we're gonna move on from that. Um, I read that uh, blog someone wrote about like a hundred and sixty dollar thousand dollar knife that someone found in a box. Kareem CSGO. wrote that blog. Yeah. Oh, that's CS:GO. What's that? Counter Strike Global game. Offensive. Oh, sorry. Oh, okay. It has like a real marketplace for its in-game skins and sounds kind of some fun. of the prices. Wait, the knife that was found was virtual. Yes. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh my god. And there's because of the rarity, there's like very detailed. Like there's a bunch of there's a thousand different pattern types for each knife. Each knife is a one in four hundred chance of pulling it out of a case. It's it's very like there's like decades of history behind it. But some of the knives go over a million dollars. Uh, this is a fake knife on yes. a screen. Yes. What do you mean decades of history? Well, CS The game's been out game. since like the early 2000s. Yeah. Oh, it's like one of the bigger games. Well, how ever. Did <laughs> like that's not something you can pass on to your grandkid. Like, what you do you transfer them on their Steam account? There's implied rarity and. I mean, I guess it's just like collecting Pokemon cards or something. Yeah, like, CS:GO is a whole world that you guys have. Like, it's like yeah. it's huge. Okay. Like and people it's, live and it's international. And by that it's game. like more popular in Europe and South America than it is in America. Oh. So some. Uh, uh. It's crazy. Yeah. Well, the hack was. Yeah. Oh yeah. I went to Brunello Cuccinelli. Mm-hmm. You know that clothing store. Mm-hmm. You know it? No, no. I mean, it's got to mm-hmm, it's be, gotta nice. be one of the most expensive clothing stores on earth. T-shirts are six hundred dollars. Nice ass shirts. It's crazy. The clothes are so nice. I've never bought anything from there. And if you go in and you start trying stuff on, they say, "Would you like a drink?" And you say, "Sure." And they've got really good drinks. I mean, they can mm-hmm. make you a really good cocktail at this clothing store and they have nice dark chocolate with almonds in it they have dried apricots they have cheese pellegrino you just did all of this i had it because i tried on enough clothes and then it is a good idea I, I thought but i thought a lot of those like isn't like is it louis vuitton where they give you like champagne but you have to buy something i think you don't have to buy it you don't have to buy anything you, you just have to, to make they say were they mad around. when you left I told them I wanted them to hold the clothes that I had tried on. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and I have That's until tomorrow. That is a good scam. You should like, go back. And but you also have to yeah. fit the part. I was going to say, would it work? It's a little like, bit of a... I was, dressed yeah. just, <laughs> I was dressed just well enough, just well enough that I thought I could do it. I was going to say, they wouldn't do that for us, no, right? No, no, not you guys. Okay. No. <laughs> what is like? What, yeah, how much are these no shirts? Way. What is a thousand dollar shirt? But what's so special about the shirt? What's it's uh, they're just handmade in Italy. It's like the you try them on and you you feel different. P- and people would look at you walking down the street and be like, "That's a ex- Brunelli ch- ch- Uh, you know what? They're I guess they're it. Their big thing is like layering, and they'll do you know a a, a nice collared shirt under a cashmere sweater under a vest and when you see it on the mannequin you think oh my god that is the coolest nicest outfit if i ever saw a guy wearing that i would think he was i could he was so handsome that's why would you why would you want to wear something like that just to look nice i don't know but i wouldn't that's my point i've never bought anything there i don't think i intend to ever buy anything from there but uh i had the idea to to go in there for a drink Oh, that's a good idea. Though. Instead of going to a bar next door where, where I would yeah. have been paid $38 yeah. for two drinks, you know? It's a good hack. It was a good hack. Yeah. It's a good hack. And it was air conditioned and comfortable. The couches were suede. Mm. Uh, yeah, it was, it was really nice. I'm kind of dealing with an issue right now where one side of my couch has become a little lopsided. Because I only sit, I sit in the exact same spot on my couch and now there's an indent in the you couch. got the Homer Simpson butt groove yeah. going. You should mix that up. How do you fix that? Can you switch the Sit cushions? Sit in a different spot. Flip I the tried, cushion. and then I was like, yeah, but this isn't nearly as comfortable as my spot. <laughs> flip the cushion. Oh, uh, okay. Try that. Yeah. 
fell asleep on my couch last night. You did? Yeah, I woke That's up, at, woke up at 6 a.m. Yeah, that like, hurts. Fuck. Oh, no. <laughs> hurts. Yeah. That hurts. And I moved back to my bed. You, can, you just feel like such a shithead. Yeah. You, you, you know the moment before you fall asleep, you're like, I should get up. Yeah. I, I'll be fine. I won't yeah. fall asleep. Yeah. I mean, yeah. oh, fuck. I remember closing my eyes and being like, Damn, I'm tired. There's yeah. not. It, it makes you feel like such a weak man, too. I woke up like, six hours later. You do the long blink, and you're like, nah, nah, I'm good. I'll just close my eyes for a second. <laughs> yeah. There's always a reason. I do, that. Yeah. I do that driving. Yeah. Oh, dude, I've done that driving, too. Super scary. Yeah. Very scary. I've been, there's a couple times I've been very tired, scary. And yeah. Funny. And all of a sudden, you I'm kind good. of wake up, and yeah. you're like, yeah. ah, yeah. still going. That is the literal. That's the craziest part. Is you literally say to yourself, "This will be fine for just a few." Like you feels, convince yeah. yourself yeah. Yeah. that it you'll feels be fine so for good. just a few. Yeah. Yeah. What's that the, feeling of like, like the worst you situation know. to do that? Driving. driving. No, yeah, well, sure. yeah. Driving, also bad was it like also high school like class. That's what class, I was gonna say. Yeah. Class was bad. Every yeah. time I used to go over to my friend's house, we'd watch a movie. I would fall asleep. Like when oh. I was like really. And young. it's just like a car with somebody driving that you don't know that well. Movie sucks too. On the beach where people are drinking. Someone's gonna teabag you. Yeah, couch on a bachelor party. Yeah, someone like at like, oh, at yeah. like 11 p.m. Yeah. being like, I just need to like five minutes. I got teabagged on the beach, and I, <laughs> I remember waking up and everyone was laughing, and I looked up and there was testicles right next. Oh. To me. <laughs> and I remember thinking like, wow, I can't believe that guy did that. Yeah, that's insane. Teabagging. I don't know him move. that well. Yeah, it's crazy to me. I think I, I've fallen up. I've fallen asleep in some bad. Some bad spots. I'm trying to. I'm trying to think of when. Oh, I fell asleep in an Uber, oh. uh, like two weeks ago, drunk. I did that on the subway. Yeah, where I just like just. Yeah. I just need a minute. Yeah. yeah. I was I was out in uh, Queens, and I was and I was Ubering back, and I and I fell asleep, and I woke up, and the guy was like, "We're here," and he was like, "Is this it?" And I didn't even look, and I just got out. I was like, "Yeah, thank you." <laughs> and I, I felt like a fucking moron. You're in Queens. Yeah. Damn. I do it with like when I'm like taking care of my kids, and I'll be like, "I should close my eyes." For yeah, me. and then I wake oh, yeah, up. That's... I'm like, "Where the fuck are they?" <laughs> I got in in like college summer break. I was home, and a group of us went down the Jersey Shore. And you know those like the smaller trucks where there's two people squished in those little side seats in the back. Yeah, all those. I was are in terrible. one of those on the I way hate home, those. and the driver <laughs> fell asleep at the wheel, and we hit a telephone pole going like. I don't Wh- know. What? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was like eight story ever. Forty-five oh, no. miles an hour, and uh. I was in the and the guy next to me had whatever. And before the cops got there, our big thing was we had to hide the weed. We had to hide the weed, and so it was the whole thing. Holy uh, well, shit! Well, I was Kate. fine. Uh. Is that's important? But I was like the only one that didn't have to get ambulanced away. Damn. So like, they, they were like fall very glass. injured and like hiding weed. And well, what they said was that saved us all was that. Every all four of us in the truck were asleep when we hit the pole, <laughs> even so including the work. driver. And they said we were so relaxed, probably that we yeah. just like, oh my god, whatever. Oh, yeah. All four fell asleep. We were all everybody. That's, we that's right actually right. not on the driver. <laughs> that's on everyone else. Because yeah. like, you've been in those situations where like yeah. you're tired. You're like someone has to stay up with me. Shout out Al. Nobody all knows. four people being asleep in a moving vehicle <laughs> yeah. is insane. <laughs> <laughs> thinking like yeah. CO2 yeah. leaks or something. Yeah. Yeah. Imagine driving by that car. <laughs> Wait, was everyone asleep? <laughs> everyone was asleep. Every single person's just asleep. Oh, asleep. everyone probably felt so good. <laughs> what are they listening to? Yeah, that was the, the best the goes one. off of all time. And the yeah. last one fell asleep. Yeah. Like, this is so peaceful. Going f- yeah. 45 miles per hour. I was sober. I don't remember it at all because I was asleep. I just remember like waking up and the smell of the airbags and being like super crunched in. This, and, uh, what do the airbags yeah. smell like? Terrible. I uh, like bur- like super burnt popcorn. Almost. Yeah, like, they're all just, old as shit. Yeah, too. there was and it was the the whole truck was filling with smoke because of the airbags, and that was the part that I was like, I thought the car, the truck was like on fire, um, but it was just Jeez. this like the smoke from the airbags. The I've like, I've we almost asleep. fallen asleep in a car. Like I've had to like fight the urge to fall asleep because I knew the driver was gonna fall asleep if I fell asleep. Right. Yeah. I was when I was out in Colorado and we were, we went on a hike and we left at like four a.m. because I guess you gotta you gotta like summit by like noon or else it gets like super windy up there. Huh. And we were going back and we were like out drinking the night before and we were all like exhausted. Yeah. And the street that we were driving, we were literally driving like down a mountain for like an hour and there's no guardrail and the side is just death. It's just a cliff. Like you will die. 
and we're everyone's asleep and my buddy's like i'm so fucking tired dude and i was like about to fall asleep and i was like yeah, yeah. i gotta stay awake yeah. jesus mm. that would be a rough one waking up midair <laughs> holy <laughs> shit yeah. all right all right, all right i have a question <laughs> i have a qu- i think about this all the time if if you drove your car off of a bridge yeah why do you die what do you mean well do you die from your car hitting the water yeah. dr- probably uh or from the car drowning and you can't get out depends on how high the bridge is. but but, yeah. but like here's my question so let's say that you land the car landed wheels down it, you're, you're sitting in a comfortable car seat but it's yeah but well, it's water at that height is no different than like concrete. Like cement I guess be like dropping you off like the Empire State. Building. A lot of these physics questions I, I struggle with, so I, I don't. Yeah, when we were in San Francisco, Francis and me were looking at the San Francisco Bridge, or the the, the Golden Gate Bridge. Golden Gate yeah, Bridge. It's pretty famous. And and Francis, <laughs> and Francis was like, "I'm pretty sure I could jump off of that and survive." <laughs> there have been oh. people who've done that. Yeah, yeah. there have been. Yeah, we had like a 30 been... minute conversation. Oh yeah, I would. If There's suicide. Jump suicide jumpers have survived. Yeah. Yeah. I. I it's just, I think it's about how you enter the water. Yeah. yeah. So you got to do the, the all fours down. that people are doing. Uh, so speaking yeah. of, Wait, I'm glad you brought that up. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is that? I don't Wait, know. What, what are you when talking about? I don't know, but it's trend. Um, it's everyone does it. What, how is going in the water like, like, uh, like it's basically go like this. They're pretending like they're going to belly flop. But wouldn't they, your neck just snap if you did that? Oh, that's happening in that TikTok trend. That, oh, like, yeah, the jumping off people. the fast boats. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. But wait, what's? I haven't seen this. Okay, either. you'll you see. find it, TJ. These guys are going in the water, and they, they, they go like they're going to belly flop, and at the last second, they bring their things in, and then yeah. and then they just I don't, put, they're landing on their Wasn't that you talking about face? the death diving? I don't know, but I, it's become a trend with like everyone. I've seen it anytime a time. anyone's the whole jumping. discover is is uh, is people cliff jumping and they're and you in think the last second yeah. you think they're gonna like you know jump in. No, not that. Uh, that's uh. too many flips. I don't know how a pencil dive isn't just the safest option. That's what I. That's yeah. what I would have thought. You just oh pierce the water. That's how I thought we were supposed to do it. I think maybe it's getting a little bit more surface area to pierce the water. I don't know. Well, then if you don't stop yourself. Too quickly, once you hit the water, you can go down too fast and crack your eardrums. Yeah, that could be the pen- why pencil. Yeah, maybe that's oh. what it is. screws you up. Yeah, because yeah. you can't stop yourself. No, you go down fast with a pencil. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes, well, you do. Can I go back to this question about the car really quick? Because Here, here's. Oh yeah, let's see this. Yeah, that's exactly it. That's what they do. They punch the water. Watch right there. That's the how last they let go. Oh, and water. that feels better. I guess yes. so. What? Right there, yeah. That's how they do it. I mm. still don't. Okay. This is a big trend. It is. I've noticed yeah, it I everywhere. It everywhere. Every single time someone jumps in, he doesn't even have to be that high. They'll do it. It's like so far from the edge of the yeah, water, too. Yeah, this is too. crazy. Bad. See, right at the end. He's doing a little sloppy, though. I've seen it. Yeah, I've seen it much sloppy. tighter. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I got to pee. Anyway, all right. I guess if car, I you? just think if you had a really cushioned seat and you had your seat belt on and the car went into the water the right way, if the car is not disintegrating on impact, why are you dying? If someone you is drowning, I think, I knows. think it is a certain amount of height. The the water just yeah. becomes concrete. But like I get that if it's your body. But if you dropped, if you were sitting in a car and you dropped off the Empire State Building onto concrete, the would, car would disintegrate. Yeah, It'd explode into a million pieces, and you happened. would no longer have a co- cushioned leather chair to ab- absorb your fall. It's like you're falling on a mattress or right. something. I think right. that might happen from high enough on water. Right. I don't know. All right. I, I, I'll, I'll, I'm sure. I'm, I know I'm wrong. It I just don't know on why the I'm angle, wrong. Depends on the angle. Depends on the. I don't know. That's what I wanted to know. Hmm. Well, water is like concrete at a height of around 100 meters or 300 feet. Water's surface tension is so strong. Hmm. Huh. Hmm. That's got to be super avoidable to not drive off a bridge. Well, a lot of those, I mean, sometimes, you know what the scariest bridge to drive across in New York is the Verrazano. Yeah. Because I want to look at the view. Yeah. 
But if I look at the view, I start wavering out of my lane. And it gets windy as hell up Super there. Super windy. Like your whole car is shaking around. Yeah, I drive off the Verrazano. I'm not sure that the seats of my car are saving me. Anymore. No, oh, I don't think oh, so. Oh, definitely not. I think yeah. you're, uh, That's trouble. Yeah. That's big trouble. Hmm. TJ, you want to spin the wheel? Oh. Yeah, we should uh, shout out that. Oh, yeah. Yes. yes. Play that video for people who missed it. There's a camp for kids with cancer, and they have the the wheel. They're playing the yak wheel. It's called um, happinessiscamping.org, and it's a free summer camp for kids age 6 to 15 with cancer in yeah. Hardwick, New Jersey. And they and they spun the wheel, and they have to do stinky cloud now. Well, they, 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 they spin every day for who gets to eat lunch first or who go to lunch first, and they have wet on the wheel. That's awesome. Yeah, I guess all summer they were waiting oh, to yeah. hit land on wet, and they finally. It's <laughs> so awesome. Yeah, it looks fun as hell, that camp. It's a great. Oh. <laughs> Count us down. Three, two, one. Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> what a cool camp. Yeah. Shout out those guys. Mm. Happiness Camp. There's the Venmo. I'm going to hit that up right now. Happiness is camping. So anyone who wants to hit the Venmo. Yeah, it's super cool. Wait, they use the very same wheel that you guys use? I think they made their own with wet on it. Yeah, they we tagged oh, us. Cool. Cool. That. Yeah. Happiness is camping. Did hashtag some things. Yeah. Let's donate. Very cool. It's just going to go to some random guy. <laughs> I'll pick up my phone. Pretend like hey, I guess, I, I guess that's uh, obligatory. You got us. You got me? Yeah, I got you guys. Oh, yeah, people are, people are doing yeah, it. Yeah, somebody, oh, Jeffrey Cumming, right. said wet wheel. When you donate, does it show the price by your name? You can do private. I always do private. But if you do it public, does it show the price? I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know why anyone would ever do Venmo public. <laughs> no, I'm always so I always see that. It. like It's like a fee. It's insane. Yeah. Like, what are you doing? Why would no. you do that? That I don't think private was an option for it's a like, while. It was all public for a while. But yeah, no, but like, people would, are like doing their fee. Like girl, like them and their girlfriends. When I see like yeah. spouses like, paying each other and stuff. I'm like, what's going on? Oh, Sass, I owe you for that Red Bull. What do you want? Shout out your Venmo. Hell no. No. Last thing I need is people requesting me money. Uh, they might give you some. I don't need money. Look, Jack McCarthy paid Spider for pizza. I get that a lot. Embarrassing. Just requesting for money. I get people requesting for money oh, all the time. I've, I've uh, never mind. I can't. Shouldn't say that. Ever since the milk episode, I'll get a random like Friday night Venmo request for like a hundred dollars from a fan. Be like, <laughs> yeah, can you help me out? I get those too. I remember when I was uh, in high school. I was on Twitter, and I had my Venmo in my bio, and uh, my mom didn't know that I had a big following on Twitter. She saw my Venmo and she thought I was a drug dealer. Oh yeah. He was like, "Why are all these people sending you money?" And I was like, "I had to, I had to break her the news, break her the terrible it's tough news." Tough to break. I'm a micro celebrity mom. Well, that's pretty good. A kid I knew in high school who made all the fake IDs for everyone. Yeah. He had a ton. He made a ton of money, and he was buying really high end shit. Yeah. yeah. One day, his parents walked into his bedroom, and he had like a new TV. And a new Xbox, and they were like, there's just no way you made this as a lifeguard. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what's what's going on? Like, is it that $4,000 printer you yeah. got in yeah. the corners that have something to do with it? That is definitely something that I would buy. What? Just a nice printer. Yeah. Well, no, the printer was to make the fake ID. Oh, shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It was that easy to make them? Oh, yeah. I think so. Yeah. 
it, I don't know what it is now because they've done a really good job of making them very difficult. But like when I was in college, it wasn't that hard. It's so. Hard. I used to have fakes that worked. I oh that was I had back a, in two thousand four. I had a couple fakes that were awesome. Yeah, I could have really given them to like ones. TSA. I had a, a fake that my buddies and I had fake IDs that one of them gave him to gave it to a cop. And it was That's fine. Crazy. All of yeah. our, I got all of mine taken. In Madison, in Madison, they used to do it. Sucked. They would. Uh, they would just do it randomly, and it would be like once or twice a month, th- a cops would just show up to a bar and close the front door and turn on the lights <laughs> and just be like, everyone take out your ID. Oh, I remember they would do, do, do. Do, do it at the end of the month. Yeah, there's they had nothing to like hit their quota. Do. Yeah. Yeah. So one of my buddies actually gave the fake ID and was fine. Yeah. I, I think my one of my worst fake ID experiences is when I got in trouble and I was with Roan and his wife. And I felt so bad. I was like, they don't need to be dealing with this shit at <laughs> all. They're 10 years past How much past trouble this. did you get in? Dude, I, I, we were going to a bar in Nashville. And, uh, or we were going to like a concert venue that Roan had like an inn at. And he didn't have to buy tickets. And we show up and they're doing ID. This is when they're doing IDs and vaccination cards. Oh, yeah. And I photoshopped my vaccination card to match the birthday of my ID. <laughs> and that was the big one. That was what they were really hung up on. Like they, so he takes the ID and my phone, and he's like, he's we're outside, and he goes inside with my phone and the ID. Oh, that's a bad feeling. And then they come out, they call me in. There's a massive line behind me, and I'm holding up the whole line. And he's like, so the ID's fake. He's like, what we're really hung up on is why the vaccination card matches the ID. And I was like. Yeah, I, I was like, I have no idea. Like, what do you say in that scenario? I photoshopped yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so and they, he was like, and he's like threatening me, being like, you like this is like super illegal, like identity identity theft, fraudulent ID, like all this shit. And then, uh, yeah, and then they were like, you can go in, but you can't. He took the ID, they gave us the X's, and then Ron got us drinks. It was with me and my buddy, and Ron and his wife, and he got us drinks. And then they like hunted us down. The dude was oh. literally like, the dude was literally like on the catwalk above the stage, Lucky. like looking at us. And then I just felt a shoulder on my arm when they kicked us all out. <sighs> yeah, that sucks. But just be like, I had been in that scenario so many times. But being in that scenario with the someone who people, is yeah. ten years past the point where they have to even think about a fake ID, I know. and like we're all getting kicked out because of me and my friend. I think it's worse for them. I just felt bad. I was like, this is yeah. like, yeah, that's brutal. That used to happen all the time. Like I, I, the first two years I lived here, I had to, I couldn't go like anywhere. I'd have a fake ID. That sucks. I got ID the other day for buying Zin, and the guy was like, yeah. "Make sure." And I was like, "I'm 20 yeah. years old. <laughs> <laughs> 20." That guy loves I've lived his more job. than half my life past 18 years old. My mom got ID'd when she was buying me a uh, Modern Warfare 3 <laughs> at Best Buy, <laughs> <laughs> and she was furious. <laughs> But your mom does look incredible for her. <laughs> <laughs> Mom's in her mid fifties, and they were IDing her to buy an M-rated video game. But then you have the opposite. Like we went to Vegas uh, for I think it was a Canelo fight. It was like me, Dave. I can't remember who else was at the table with us. Like Robbie. I can't. Like there was a f- few of us, and they just went around and ID'd everyone. Beat me and Dave. Yeah. And we're just like fuck. Yeah. This sucks. I, when my first time buying condoms in high school, at it was at Kroger, and I tried to use the self checkout, but it rings them up. You have to have an ID for condoms. That can't be a thing. Wait, still. what? So yeah, like the one of the sick <laughs> one Wait, of the employees had to come ring it up for me. <laughs> that sucks. <laughs> Why would you want kids not to be able to buy condoms? Right. I think they changed that law. I think I remember that being uh, a this thing. Was like two thousand backwards shit. Really had to have Crazy. really had to have an ID for condoms. They I think, should actually. Oh, yeah. I, they okay, should ID no, the you for condoms and be like, you're older than twenty five, dude. You can't pull out. Yeah, yeah, I yeah. was in high school. I think I tried again later in life, like my like uh, at CVS, and it. <laughs> Notes the like you can't do it yourself. Condoms and five hour energy. You imagine, just can't buy. Imagine them IDing you and you're just like you're thirty and then so like a, a, a clown comes out and it's like, You're gonna fuck with a raincoat on, bro? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like just just fucking heckles you. <laughs> Loser. I bought condoms for the first time probably 
eight years before I was sexually active. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It was oh, way dude. before. <laughs> Having a condom before you knew oh, what yeah. you had it. And I just had it in my wallet in, like, yeah. algebra class. Dude, I remember. You never know what's going to happen, dude. Dude, I remember putting on a condom when I was, like, oh, 14 yeah. and being like, this is cool. I masturbated with a condom I cranked on. off into a yeah. condom once, and I was like, this thing works. Yeah. <laughs> I remember like trying to convince myself that it felt good. Yeah, uh, yeah, I was yeah. Like, this is crazy. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> so much cleaner than. Especially if you buy like the original like Trojan condoms, dude. They're like they're like this thick. Yeah, you can't feel any. Or there's the lubed up ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh man. I like didn't know what to do with it, so I like hit it like under my bed. It's like, what if my mom finds it in the trash? She's gonna think I'm fucking. Yeah. You know, be, I'd rather her no, think that than me being be like, like, yeah, I was jerking off with condoms on. Yeah, but that's one of those ones that parents always know. Like, if they found it, they'd be like, oh, Sass fucking jerked off in a condom. <laughs> 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 it's like you you think when you're a kid yeah. that you're getting so much over on your parents, and they yeah. do everything. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Watched a movie scene where the guy where a guy opens it opens a condom with one hand. Spent like six months just trying to practice. Don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that rocks. Yeah, I just I like think back all the times when I was like drunk or high and being like, oh, my parents didn't know. It's like, yeah, they, of course they did. Be so easy to figure out, dude. My move anytime I was anytime I was drunk, I would come home and I would. I think I've talked about this before, but I would just downplay. How much fun I had! Yeah, I would I would get home and, I would, and my parents would be like, "How was it?" And I'd be like, "Terrible." <laughs> like, I, it just like wasn't. I just didn't have a good time. I was like, "All my friends, they're going down a bad path." <laughs> like trying to convince them so hard that I had such a bad time right. that they wouldn't believe that I was drinking. Right. And then and then you like went to your bedroom and the, and your parents were like, "Well, he's hammered again." Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, I remember getting so fucked up in high school and being, my dad would come pick me up and it, it would be like I was in a video game in his car. Just like, it felt like I was at nine G's. Right. right. Yeah. yeah. My head spread. And he knew the thing. entire time that yeah. you were fucked up. Yeah. 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 Uh, all right, spin, spin our wheel, TJ. It's been a great yak, guys. It's a blast. Really loosened it up. Ooh. Who's here tomorrow? Me. Me. I am. I'm not. Are you out of I don't think I am tomorrow. Well, if you're here, you're welcome on. Appreciate it. Anything else that we missed? Uh, a lot. Uh, no, nothing for me. You want to play one? Let's play one round of small clubs. Yeah. yeah. Let's go one round of small yeah, I'm down. Come on. Yeah. Today was a year to the day of the Joe Montana catch. Yes. You know, uh, that long ago? Yes. That's crazy. That's nuts. I know some of these yak anniversaries are popping up, and I'm like, "What?" Uh, that was a, a two or a one year. One year. Oh, that, that feels like a year. I feel really? like that was six months. I feel like that was like right before like Christmas break. The video I watched it again this morning when it popped up, and it made me laugh so hard because the angle of the camera captures Joe Montana holding the M and M so perfectly. It's just so dumb. It just yeah, it's still very funny. He wore the shirt yesterday, Che. I think. I wore it this week, I think. Yeah. We also have a radar gun now, if you ever want to do anything with that. Oh. I found a radar good. gun in the bins okay. the other day. Definitely do something with that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. One sparkle. One term used for adult men who like My Little Pony... Two parents of Maya Hawk, three players on Knicks in original NBA Jam, four Hebrew letters on Dreidel, five ingredients in Cars Trail Mix, seven players to catch the most TD pass for Tom Brady, seven top-selling Ben & Jerry flavors 2022, eight former HBO drama shows with five or more seasons, nine reindeer to pull Santa sleigh, ten Axis power states in, w- in World this War II. That's a good one. I think this is really good. It's tough. Mm. It's tough. All right, Sass. Um, I guess I'll go with. Hmm. Sorry, I didn't read them before. I'll go with uh Rob Gronkowski. Ooh, nice. BB. Oh man, this is tough. What are the ca- um? Yeah, I can't read these. 
<laughs> you want to switch? Come on, dude. Why wouldn't you offer? <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Julian yeah, Edelman, though. If it's re- Julian Edelman. Just go to that chair. I bet you could still. Um, who's, who is Maya Hawk? I don't know. I Superhero? Also, all right. I, I have a guess, but I don't want to guess on something. All right, let's, uh, let's go with Sopranos. Um, I'll go with uh, Uma Thurman. Oh. Nice. Adult men who like My Little Pony, that is a brony. I got it. I got it. It's probably the plural that they're looking for. Oh, yeah. N-I-E-S, maybe? With an S on the end, maybe? S, yeah. There it is. Oh, what's his name? (coughs) Rudolph. Dasher. Uh, Ethan Hawk? That's what I figured. I didn't know they were married. Yeah, they were for a bit there. Um, Prancer. Dancer. The Vixen. I e e n probably. What is going on? Um. Cupid. Game of Thrones. Mm. Comet. Blitzen. Ooh, reindeer's almost cleared. I don't know this. Um, Cherry Garcia. Um, five ingredients and what does that say? Trail mix. Cars, trailers. I'm gonna go with M and M's. It's gonna need an ampersand, probably. Yeah, there you go. Let's go fish food. Uh, pH. pH. Um. Okay. I'll go with Axis Power. Um. Italy. Nice. Thanks. I'm letting the other guy off the hook there. Donner. Yeah. Close out the reindeer. I wasn't certain about the reindeer. Okay. This is good. We're doing well, boys. Good Girls. shit. Longest uh, I've ever. That sounded awkward. Why would I say it like that? <laughs> Tonight, dough. Damn, that was going to be the I one that I... I can't imagine that's... I see it in all the stores, though. D-O-U-G-H? Oh, that's not a popular one. Oh, it is. Wow. That one's super popular. I can't Jimmy. believe that. Jimmy, um, uh, peanuts. Randy Moss. Okay. Italy. Or Germany. Yeah. That's, that's a good one. It's yeah. number one. First answer. Uh, Japan. Mm-hmm. Amendola. So, this is gonna be tough. Don't look at me like that, Stephen. All right, KB's out. Raisins. (sighs) Dion Branch. Um, I I think Sex in the City. Oh, nice. But I I wonder if they'll. I'm and and I'm so mad that I'm blanking on HBO as hard as I am. No. I 
I guess not. I no way. I'm surprised. Wasn't I that mean, HBO? I, they're, they're, uh, technically, they're in like season eight now. So yeah. yeah. Did you try? Did you spell out and? Not HBO. I'm looking at the answers. Uh, it's not HBO. The original Sex in the S- Sex in the it's City is on HBO. It's not on this. Anime. The reboot is a different title. Yeah. Now it. Yeah. It's and just like pretty that. good. Just like that. Um. But the original Sex in the City, there were not more than. F- there were not more than four seasons. I don't know, but it's not on the answer. Look it up. I'm looking huh. at the. Be damned. Okay. I don't know if it'd be considered a drama. I think that might be a comedy. Oh, I didn't even read drama. My fault. I'm, I'm yeah, that could be it. Was that mad funny? It's a great show. No. I'm gonna go with. This is probably wrong, but sun, I think it's sunflower seeds. The like salty little sunflower seeds in the trail mix. You're right. Yeah, that is it. I was kidding. Shit! Oh, ha, ha. Damn nice. it! KB gotcha. What are those little seeds called? Yeah, I thought they were for gotcha real. Gotcha ass. What are those called? Gotcha ass. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go with almonds. <laughs> oh, of course it's almonds. All right, so it's just me and you, Sass. Yeah, but I'm done. Uh, I don't have anything uh, else. The wire. There were that many other bad yep. guys in World War II. What about True Blood? You're out. I know. Yeah, but we're still One. going. All right, I'm going to go with <laughs> True Blood. Blood. Yeah, that's yours. Six Feet Under? Oh, I was thinking, oh, yeah. I was thinking Six Feet rules. Under, too. Is he still in? Yeah, yes, that's what I in. skipped him, though. Right? No, I didn't. Oh, he didn't. It was his turn. Oh, sorry. <laughs> did True Blood work or no? Oh, it did? That's yours, right. yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck you. All right. Uh, American Dream. Wow. Ooh, good oh. pull. No! I uh, should have done True Blood. <laughs> yes. I'm going to go with Six Feet Under. This is bullshit. I don't know if that's right. I don't know if that had more than four seasons. <laughs> wow. You're looking it up. Wow. It wasn't binding. Oh, my first what win. win. What a, a first win. win. Was it? Yeah. Was wow. It? Good wow. Job. Steven, was Mike Evans on there? Definitely. Hit it. What's the Ben and Jerry's flavor? It's banana with chocolate banana. chip. What is Rocky that called? Funky a, monkey? Chunky yeah, monkey? Yeah, that's chunky, it. Chunky Everything yeah. but the kitchen sink. Chunky monkey. Ch- and then there's chubby hubby is another chubby one. Hubby. Yeah, you can show the, show the answers. Yeah, show. Larry Johnson? No. Yeah. Starts egg, Patrick chocolate chip cookie dough. Oh, Wes Welker. That's an easy one. Yeah. Fuck. Thought about it. Yeah. Oh, it was way off. Oh, Half Big baked. Love. Boardwalk Empire. TikTok's been showing me the whole seasons of Big Love again. Chocolate fudge brownie. Mormons. Oz. All right, Sass won. Yeah. There you go, Sass. Yeah. You do. Nothing I'm not used to. Winning. All right. Constantly striving for greatness. Yeah. Exceeding the expectations. See everyone tomorrow. Mm-hmm. All righty. We'll see you guys on Monday. See you on Monday. Happy birthday, Tater Tot. See you tomorrow.